<clears throat> yes, yes. Uh, look, the stream hadn't started yet, so it was okay to be muted, all right? But now it has. <laughs> uh, how's it going, uh, Mr. Facts and or Logic? Oh, there it is! There it is, guys! There it is! <laughs> uh, nothing much, man. Nothing much. Um, Hobbit 2, I'll be playing Across the Obelisk with Richard while I'm doing it. I've been, uh, I've been really enjoying my Tarkov. That game is pretty fun and addictive. And, um, the other night, some random other streamer came by and gave me a bunch of gear and, like, walked me through, like, three levels. Where we just... I did not die. Um, and then he got killed. And I picked up all the shit. I was literally like... A hundred steps from the exit with like 15 minutes left. And the servers died. Just like, ah. Oh, well, fuck. All that really, really good gear. Gone. Ha 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 We was ranks. Also, what's up, uh, Jonah? How you doing, sir? Okay, first to you. No, we are watching The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. We last left our heroes. Uh, Thorin and his company had just escaped Azog the Defiler via eagles, who uh, do something for once. <laughs> uh. No, you don't. Uh, uh, that video Lotus posted, that was the thing they did for, like, a magazine, right? Like, that wasn't actually the opening for the show, right? No! Come on! That- no! No! You, you're fucking with me! You- Come on! You can't be serious. Look, look, scroll up in general chat, Richard. Uh, allegedly, that's the opening for Rings of Power. It's just like all black screen with a bunch of their actors and actresses. Like, come on, it can't be that. Yeah, so it's just... The Young and the Elvish? Uh, bef no, no, before that. The, um, the one by Celestial Stud, Mr. At Big Gulp American. You sure it's general chat? Mm-hmm. The gem channel? Yeah, it's a tweet. It's, um... The video. Oh, it's the tweet. Sorry. But yeah, the, the video. Allegedly, that's the opening for Rings of Power. It shows each of the... <laughs> it looks so it looks uninspired. Really bad. <laughs> it looks Where's so uninspired. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, as long as he doesn't shove his hand in my face, I think I'll be fine. There was one male in women. There was Doc Brown, though. There was Black Doc Brown. What is going on? Come on, they... Ah, no, they didn't do that. That would be... Come on, $750 million. They had to have someone. Like, this is... This show is obviously the world's largest money laundering project ever. Like, you know, they spent, like, maybe a hundred million on this, and they laundered the other 650 in Hollywood accounting. Like, the other 615 all went straight up their noses. It's gotta be. Alright, let me grab a sure drink. Just go up there. Yeah, you sure just didn't go up their ass? It, uh, probably also, but I haven't heard about a monkey out pox break on the casting set. So, I'll be back. Um, we'll get started probably 7.05, I think. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay.
My microphone keeps shutting off. I can't figure out why. I'm gonna unplug it. <clears throat> okay. And we're back. Also, what's up, Saber Ram? We're about to watch Hobbit Part 2 The Desolation of Smog! Played by uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Today was cheat day, facts. You know what we do on cheat day? I, I, I know, I know. I'll, I'll join in a sec. You know what we do on cheat day, facts? We eat bad food. Like pizza. No! Uh, food, I, I guess I'm going keto or... My microphone is constant. My microphone is constantly turning on and off, and I can't figure out why. Oh, and my my webcam turned off. Well, that's nice. Yeah, no, it didn't. <laughs> so you became so you became a ghost. It's just everything's shutting off, and uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Like I walk. It's like whenever I hit the off button on it, it just like stops working. But uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, you know, honestly, um, yeah, I'm going to restart my computer. Mm, yeah, that's right. Well, being good now, but nah, nah, we'll go with it. We'll roll with it. You guys will tell me when my audio doesn't work. You'll be able to. All right. So, um, the film will start playing now. Begin! Ugh, Warner Brothers. The original films weren't Warner Brothers, right? This one is no, they Warner. were. They were all Warner Brothers. Really? Yes. They were... No, they were Warner Brothers, for sure. Weird, I don't remember Warner Brothers. It is... When we last left our heroes, they had just escaped via Eagle. <sighs> uh, no. Shouldn't be. <coughs> no, no, you were muted. Don't worry. <laughs> Ghost knows better. Ah, uh, happy, happy fellowship of the music. Yo, CTT, thank you for the Leon Lime and the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Meanwhile, in Bree. Alright. <laughs> That's obviously a dwarf. <laughs> or a child out way too late. She's a witch! <laughs> Have some bread and mutton. <laughs> oh, 
if you want. Hmm. I'm gonna play Cornelius and Andrin. Actually, no, I'll play Cornelius and Evelyn. We're gonna go double DPS. DPS? Alright, I'll try to keep you alive. Don't play Otis. Hmm. My name is Gandalf the Grey. I'm here to tell you about a very important mission. Oh, you're just gonna have to still mana charge for them. Sure. Playing a build that, uh, attack vault, like, it's, it's one turn win. Two turns on the final boss. But it requires, like, three characters of setup. So this class just builds all fire damage? So this, yeah, so Cornelius is basically the fire damage guy. So mm. he gets too powerful and too burned. A lot of stuff that you have is like... That is... Mm. Oh, you can... Now, burn himself to burn. Oh, shit. That means you can't throw a Should be able to keep you pretty healthy with that. Mm. You have all that. Just uh, keep it down for a sec. <laughs> it was the message. <laughs> this message will self destruct in five seconds. The Arkenstown. Is it 
And so you said you're going to split them for fireworks? Mm hmm. One sec. I gotta turn my, uh. I had to turn my gate up to maximum. Hey, Zog, the Defiler. <laughs> Nothing like a warg, right? <laughs> So wait, did the eagles did not pick up Bilbo? Or they just drop him off close? It's always the same. Didn't carry over my money. Oh wait, no, I can- I can open it. <laughs> no! No. <laughs> he will help us, he'll kill us. Well, that's positive. <laughs> Basically told him, you can take your chances with them or here. Now, facts. Is the fat one ballin'? No, it's Bomber. Who's ballin'? Ah! Bomber's quick on his feet. Or they will kill us. Yeah, I'm still messing with my deck. Played you all like fools. It will be safe. Maybe. Hey, what's up, bossy? Just getting started. No, no, no. It can be reasoned with, facts. <laughs> it can be reasoned with, facts.
Yeah, screw that. <laughs> <laughs> the boss calls you, bruh. <laughs> Know the thing. Why should I give it up? Now, now! Oh, I, I turned on the captions. Don't worry. It's there now. I know, Rich. I'm still, I'm still picking items. Now, oh, see, fool. Thank you. Oh, facts. It's massa. What of Oaken Shield? You promised me head. Bring my toughest orc. Task for you. Oh no. Ah, horses. Ponies, no less. <laughs> giant bees. See, those aren't actually ponies, facts. Those are giant toy horses. <laughs> Well, that's promising. <laughs> Don't startle it.
Basically, it's just like, we're so boned right now. What could possibly go wrong? That's one big axe, dude. <laughs> uh, everyone. No. Go get the big. Okay. Okay. Take the way off, Alan. <laughs> and a wizard. Richard, you can talk to yourself less during the movie. There are dwarves in my house! Ah, it's the one the right's balling. Gimli's cousin. <laughs> there could be more than two. <laughs> well, funny story. For you. No! Ember Storm or Scroll Speed? Yeah. <laughs> 
You guys are boned. First of all, that's Goblin. Second of all... Rudour. Witch King, right? Mm -hmm. Zinefax, Angmar, he's the Witch King. The Witch King of Angmar. <laughs> and I gotta go ban a bot on my YouTube. Can't I ban? Ban someone that's spamming porn. Yeah. Oh, I see. Fine, participant. Sorry, Richard, I got a channel on another platform. Yeah. <laughs> 
Can we get much higher at the bells? Alright, I think so. We got... Alright, sorry about that, Richard. <coughs> uh, yeah, we can do this one. No, I don't have any money. Yeah. Fusion. Good old Durin's day, right? So they play Durin Durin music all day? Bow! Oh shit, I used that. Got him.
Yeah, I just removed some of my non-fire. White stag. <laughs> yep. Is that Feely or Keely? Oh, that's... Oh, it is Thor. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> we make our own luck. Well, Thorn, you should have probably trusted luck more. They're tripping really hard, Fax. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. Well, nah, let's not bother. Yeah. Trees and more trees. Uh oh. Why did you do that, Bilbo? Why did you do that? One of the, they kill Bomber here, right? It's not over here, neither.
No. <laughs> Being watched. I mean, they don't really have good eyesight, so it's more they're just, you know, feeling them touching their webs, right? No, they've, they have shitty sight. <laughs> I will kill you. I would literally murder you. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Oh, shit. <sighs> I hit the... Why, hello there. Oh. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no. But I, no, I think they're Shelob's brood, though, right? Because, like, all spiders, I think, are descended from Shelob, right? Right, but Shelob's mother wasn't a spider. Shelob was cursed as a spider, I think, right? Or was it her mother? Oh, what? <laughs> wasn't she betrayed by Sauron? Or Sauron's master? <laughs> Don't do it, Bilbo! They have blind sight! They have blind sight, Bilbo. It won't help. Yes. All right, guys. I have bad news and worse news. We're not dead yet. He's using that, uh, that advantage stealth check right there, man. That's why they call it Sting. Alright, that's it. You are banned from the WEF. You're too obvious.
<laughs> Probably not good to tell that to the talking spider monsters. Bilbo. Just a thought. You know, just a suggestion. You're gonna want to get that back. Fate of Middle Earth could depend on it. I won. I own. <laughs> Sauron, look at here, like, I was this close, right? Well, if you remember, the Dwarvish Rings of Powers didn't actually corrupt the Dwarves, it just made them greedy. Go to the camp, Richard? Ah, there it is. <laughs> uh, top or bottom? Top. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the ring of ultimate evil in the world. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Huh. You were definitely not in this book, sir. Let's all cool down for a sec. That'll do, too. <laughs> My son! I'll be cool, guys.
Ah, my very high elvish perception check failed. <laughs> No, come on. <sighs> nope. They really should color, like, the eyebrows when they make someone, you know, like, that, have that hair color. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's a good pick for it, but they should have colored his eyebrows, too. It just looks so ridiculous, you know? So you're saying there's a chance. Not a very nice thing to say, Gimli. Or like this. <laughs> Well, at least someone knows. <laughs> Randuil. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm? You are the king under the mountain. <laughs> now, does Thrandril have one of the the three Elvish rings? Yes. No, not Mirkwood. No, um, not Fangorn either. It's.
<laughs> I know a guy. Elves. Nice. <laughs> So you're saying there's a chance. Oh no, she did not. <laughs> Dwarvish runes. It's a really nice prison, you know, like very just nice, like little, you know, like I got a little stone hall, like this whole stone hall, like prison and like nice down there. Yeah, and yeah, those are nice bars. Or not. Am I reckless? Uh, yeah. Elder. I could show you the caverns if you show me mine. What's up, Kenshi Viva Child? How are you? 
Forgot how long Bilbo wears the ring in this film, in this book. I mean, he didn't really like dwarves before. <laughs> don't don't yell, you fucking morons! <laughs> Yeah. You know, you think with a ten hour with nine hours of film, right, they could have that. <laughs> I can wait. Ready to go when you are, Richard. Sleepy Elves. Uh, no, I don't speak Spanish, Kenchi. Uh, sorry. No, hablo espanol. Signorita. I don't know why some people ask. Can you speak Spanish? Like, <laughs> oh, right, when they go in the barrels. See, they wanted to go on their Niagara Falls trip, right, Fax? <laughs> I have way too much of the, uh, the elvish red. Yeah, okay. Everyone with a low stealth score just escaped. Now what about me? What am I playing? Uh, across the obelisk, Kenshi. It's a indie game that's a cooperative roguelike deck builder. Going over the falls! That ah, wasn't that far a drop. It's like a Disney theme park right there. They've got Boofer on their side, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, The Hobbit's a children's book, you know. I mean, a children's book where, like, people die and shit. <laughs> well. Thousands of years of experience lost in a moment. <laughs> I thought Fax was going to tap the sign. 
There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Ow. Oh no, we can't tell which one's the she or he elf. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. That would hurt so bad, Fax. <laughs> I guess they're technically in heavy cover, right? With, uh, you know, with <laughs> the one that's on the rock <laughs> with a spear. I can't believe that the orcs uh, took over the entire log ride. <laughs> oh. My leg! <laughs> It's so much mass coming at us! <laughs> Was he one of the warriors? I thought he wasn't. <laughs> uh, Bomber? Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, lucky for them, he's not that heavy. Yeah, he did. What do you expect? He's an elf.
And also, that was one hell of a shot. <laughs> well, thanks, babe. <laughs> These giant stone steps as Gandalf have to go down. <laughs> go up. Just imagine his knees. I remember they used that shot for the trailer. Him like up the side of the mountain. It's a cool shot, <laughs> but and this one they definitely used. <laughs> Let me just uh, can I get some uh, get some can I get a light here? So why why does Gandalf abandon them when they have to go in through like the dark forest with uh, elves that don't like them? Like seriously, guys. One time you need a wizard. He's a little cuckoo. A lot of it. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> a wraith. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he probably should make sure he's okay. <laughs>
<laughs> My problem with the actor they chose for this, he looks too like Orlando Bloom. You guys like discount Orlando Bloom, I always felt. <laughs> ah. Maybe. Oh yeah, he yeah. has. Burned items? I know. Love orb. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, you know, I should put this ring on him. A smuggler. We're dwarves, man. We're loaded. <laughs> oh, thank you. Get out of my sight. And we'll kill you. Yep. He was a good pick to play Thrandul. Thrandul. Well, obviously, I can leave.
Good. Oh, I'm saying, slum a like it. Yeah. I'm tired of eating man flesh. Yep. Dwarves are a noble people. <laughs> he wants he wants his home back. Should we help the lavas? <laughs> Dwalin? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I'm surprised that shot of dumping fishes on someone hasn't been used in memes more. <laughs> The set looks good for Lake Town, I have to say. I know, that's fine.
That guy was in uh, Moulin Rouge, right? Yeah, he was the he was the circus master. No, it's got to be him. Yeah, it's like No. I didn't know he was at uh, Brandon's speech tonight, Vax. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Stephen Fry? Yeah. Almost certainly. There's so much descent. What are we going to do? We'll outlaw descent. We'll throw you in jail for 18 months for trespassing. <laughs> they were never here. He really Wilhelm screams right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> I was like, oh, one-eyed man there. Why do we have a one-eyed watchman? I feel like that's just asking for trouble. Depth perception-wise. I think two prismatic fields is enough, right? <laughs> I already have one, but yeah, it's not a bad idea to get another. Can we restart that? Or no, because it's ended. One of the Weasleys on the right. Oh, what? Oh, sorry, I hit the turn. <laughs> Garbage tier. See, they've got iron control here. It's ridiculous. Plus, you're going back to a dwarven hold that's gonna have, like, dead dwarf weapons all over. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop, you know. Oh, I'm gonna stop Thorne's entire company from leaving. Thanks, Dad. Wait, why did we switch from Elvish? Well, I guess they're ranging out, I guess. Self heal X equals target. Panic X, maybe? Oh no. Seriously, right, Fax? Like, hey, stop all of these dwarves. Some of the most stubborn species out there. <laughs> Man, they're all passing their stealth checks, Fax. In green? Right. We should. I agree. They, they can't debase the currency so easily. Oh, it's it does feel good. I'm good. I'm, I may be dying of this poison, but I'm good, right? <laughs> Cheese it!
Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm going to make Lake Town great again. Oh, it looks like we got a buzz kill. Sounds a lot more diverse than I remember. Yep. Are you free on this divination, Richard? Nice. Now, oh, now, everyone chill. Ching. Why are there money signs in his eyes? No. Give us the shards. Yeah, but that doesn't make him a hero. He acts noble.
<laughs> the Thorn had no kids of his own, right? This is going to go well, guys. <laughs> Bilbo. You missed the boat. Probably not. Nothing like a good purge. They look so tiny there. Oh, that's a cool mace he has. Too quiet. He got his sword back, right? I oh, know it's a new one. Still a cool looking sword. A little bit, yeah. Well, it's an iron sword. Dogle door. <laughs> Never will you find. Tell her you must be an action hero in a TV series soon. I'm as confused as you are, but...
We're boned. It's certainly a trap. Jeez, dude. The Foe Hammer. Or the Beater. Oh, Dogledore? Yeah. Really nice. Zads here. I'll just say, I mean, they have to be like, this foe is beyond us. They sent their best goblin assassin at him. Sleepy time. Dwarf.
I took my finger. I'm a freaking wizard. Well, that ship has sailed. <laughs> That's a really cool, like, just mountainside right there. <laughs> yeah, nice pyramid, Egyptians. We carved, like, a dwarf lord into a mountain. The map. Last light. <laughs> but what is the last light? What indeed? Yeah, we can. <laughs> it's a really cool looking key. Look how quickly they give up. They're just kind of like, yeah, well, fuck it.
Last light. Last light of the day. <laughs> knock knock. Like, I mean. No one have felt around that, you know, like Nice catch. Going home, Thorn. <laughs> What's up, Ghost Ram? <laughs> it's been like what a hundred years since they were in Erebor. No, dwarves don't live hundreds of years. No. They live like 260. Really? Not they only live to be like 200. I think I might get the raincoat, Richard, just so I can keep the fire on me. Yes. You've got to go steal the Arkenstone. But even if they stole the Arkenstone, like, there's still a dragon here. Meanwhile, Keeley's giving birth over here. Be right in the middle of the horde. Oh, that helps. <laughs> Bob, 
Ballin, I've heard you have killer moves on the basketball court. Well, <laughs> about that ballin'. Ah. Uh, remember that whole thing about not waking the dragon? What if I accidentally fucked up? Like, they realize they're dealing with a powerful wizard, right? I mean, he's also got the faux hammer. I don't get why he doesn't just use it. Yeah. I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> uh, can we restart? Okay. Uh. It is pretty cool, wizard powers. The Dark Lord. Oh, shit. Okay. Left. No! The other guy, right? <laughs> of course it's Sora. Yeah. See some more Valar powers. Kind of... Well, you can in the Middle Earth games, but yes, even then you don't beat him. And he definitely doesn't look like a short haired.
So bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We want to make him look like a school shooter, okay? What's wrong with you? What? Oh my god. I know. Oh, I'd break all my bones. <laughs> Any of these items, he would be set for life. Well, it's magical to some extent, but yeah. Yep. He's also huge, right? Yeah. Where are you, Bilbo? You're on, Smog. Nice. Has it really been 300 years? What? Oh. Because he's got tough, he's got like, um, you know, con 30. Yeah, he's got an armor class probably of like 35 or 40. Yeah, I mean, how would you ever fight? <laughs> Well, now he knows. But the ring actually fully hides his presence, right? Like, you he could smell him. Like, he couldn't pinpoint where he was.
<laughs> no doctor no doctor strange i don't think that'll happen that's the ark and stone <laughs> mm. Yeah, yes. Yep. <laughs> 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 He's not wrong. <laughs> He's pretty smart, actually. <laughs> That's what the rings did to him. Is a dragon. <laughs> Thorin's real is going, oh shit, it's alive. I mean, not being burned to death by a dragon. I mean, look, things may be dire, but... <laughs> Why do you understand that metaphor, Smog? These are pretty crazy shots in Airborne. <laughs> Don't miss this shot. Yeah, it's strange.
Well, the, no, it's the Wind Lance is the Arbalest that they use. Black Arrow is the ammo. <laughs> Come to arrest me, Fed. Whoosh. Why was he just hiding there? And... Not good for his... Now the armor of that those orcs. Those are the orcs from Mordor? No. No, my friend won't abandon me. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did I take the hydrag? Oh, I love that. The, the glowing effect on him, yeah? 
Like, I love that. Like, his chest glows like he's getting, he breathes fire. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not that he would care. I mean, well, he'd be sad about his hoard. <laughs> I forgot. Did the orcs attack Lake Town? Any an engine. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know that. The, the orc coming through the roof facts, it reminds me of, like, the FBI open up gif. <laughs> orc BI, open up. Sorry? This is an extended cut. Yes. That's why it's three hours. Well, I mean, the length of this. <laughs> Got shit to do. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> That's touching and all, but what? <laughs> Home. Bad liar, Master Baggins. Be cool. Can I go?
delete another porn bot. What the hell? He's not doing well there. A monster names their daughter Tilda. The frickin' top left key under the escape key. I must be dead. Did you fall from heaven, or do I have an erection? Well, judging by what the actual dwarves look like, according to Amazon, I mean, I don't really blame him. <laughs> Not Urethra Franklin? It is a good sword. Not as cool as his elf sword. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> right, smog's up there. Passed my stealth check. Teleport's behind me. <laughs> hey, babe, I'm doing fine. All I can say is, nice. <laughs> they both have tiny hands.
look, black dwarves. Is a terrible idea? <laughs> Luckily those are still holding, right? <laughs> you guys, come with me. Why is the marksman have only one eye? <laughs> it's like Orc Christ. It's almost like a Star Trek fight there where he throws him, you know? <laughs> Get that. Yeah. I mean, at least he's- at least Legolas is a great fighter in these, you know, so it's like makes sense he would survive the War of the Ring. <laughs> Definitely a dex build. You made me bleed. <laughs> I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! I love the glowing effect on his scales, that looks great. <laughs> oh, this shot.
<laughs> not that dead. That dragon's not that deadly. To be fair, he's only robbing- he's only murdering them because they tried to rob him. Oh no. Not even numerals. Hey, what's up, Box? We're about- we're actually almost done with the second film. This is an extended cut, yeah, and Thorin is facing, um, Smog, right there. <laughs> you got the strongest fire in Middle Earth right down there. Yo mama was a worm. And I tongued her. <laughs> oh, oh shit. The forges are on. At least he can hear now. I like that that stops it for a bit, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? I wouldn't say they're 10 out of 10, but they're definitely... They're definitely still good pieces of filmmaking. Well, that's tonight. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, no, it's super effective. I hope you have a better plan than that. Oh. Ah, oh, I don't have enough to do that.
Yeah, that was actually a really good shot right there of like 3D effects with the dragon flailing. <laughs> Gonna give him a crown fit for a king. Oh, sure. They definitely took out a lot of parts of this fight for the theatrical release. Oh yeah. Barrel Rider. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. But here's the thing. That's the one thing that can kill him, right? Is in Lake Town. True. You. Nothing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Wait, you so say give Evelyn the sword? Oh, I can't afford it. I need 650 more gold. There we go. Yeah. Four. Hmm. Yeah, kind of. 
<laughs> Show you. Um, now he's a gold dragon. If, <laughs> he's he's transchromatic. Facts. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool, I just... <laughs> that must have hurt him like hell, though. <laughs> you know what I don't miss? What? Dragon attacks. I have a bad day, buddy. Death. Deed, Bilbo, what have you done? Yeah. <laughs> Every movie in a trilogy has to end on a cliffhanger, right? Like, it's just... I feel like they're legally obligated somewhere, right? <laughs> Did we fuck up and unleash ultimate fire upon the city? Our bad. Really? What did you think of the... Yeah. What did you think of the original trilogy? Really? Yeah, you, you... I would... Uh, I would say that... They're honestly both very well cast. But I would still say that just the way everything's put together in the original trilogy is better. And also... Like... The special effects, I think, actually look better than the original because there's some problems, you know, with because they use sound stages the whole time in this one. So it's like you sometimes get like really weird lighting effects everywhere. Yeah, just, I, I've noticed that with a lot of like modern special effects in movies, like you always notice the um, it's like there's this weird like it's got like really weird lighting that Kind of takes me out of it. Just like not, it's not like nat. It doesn't look like it's natural sunlight coming down. I'll I'll try to show you an example since we done with it. But like I think when like the the shot of Lake Town, let me show you. Like see this shot right, like here. Yeah, like it doesn't quite seem right, right? And if you notice in the Amazon series, when they show, like, big, big air, they show, like, some of, like, their big, like, money shots of cities, like, the light looks right. Like, this scene, when they're trekking them, when they're ranging this mountain, like, it looks fine. The lighting looks good. But. All the shots in Erebor, though, are great. Yeah, see, like, this shot, like, this, like, wide shot of Lake Town here as well, Box? Something about the lighting, I don't know. I know, but it doesn't look like natural sunlight's there. Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, it's, it's it's always stood out to me. Like, normally, like, I don't, like, special effects things don't bug me, but, like, I don't know, something about, like, the lighting, it just feels unnatural. And I saw, the th the funny thing was, like, I had seen, like, some of, like, the, the shots they had from the, the Amazon one, and I'm like, it's the exact same stupid lighting effect. 
Some explain that's because they use sound stages. I mean, they're definitely better than a lot of movies that have come out in the last decade, that's for sure. Oh, and good night, facts and logic. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, I mean, I, I really, I really like these films, both of them. You know, my, my preference has always been, um, the original three. It's just, ah, oh, you know, it's, I, I think it's, it's not just. The filmmaking in those, though, like, um, Sam is such a more well-real... I, I think the characters are a lot better in the act in the trilogy, you know? Because Sam, Sam is definitely one of my favorite... Definitely one of my favorite characters, because he's just, you know, he's like kind of the heart and soul <laughs> of a lot of that movie. acceptance of others and the cooperation all of that no one the back again yeah i see he's got the he's got that so i'll throw the meteor at him i really make sure i don't have it. yeah no i mean i think i think they really capture that well you know because like, you know anything about tolkien like tolkien said you know his goal in making the lord of the rings was to create a uh kind of a, a mythos or like a western mythology you yep. know yep we got plenty of armor. You can use the multi-hits or the AOEs. Well, he definitely did that, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's what he—he he definitely achieved it. That's why when you <laughs> you see like you know Amazon and you know going like ah oh, you know we want we need to we need to change Tolkien to you know make it appeal to more people and I'm like, Fox, did you ever watch The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings and go, man? I can't relate with Aragorn's story because he's not a Hispanic dude, right? Or I can't relate with, you know, Legolas because I'm not an elf or Gimli because I'm not a short person. Like, right? Like, they're... <laughs> like do, no, do you have to yeah. look like... Do you have to look like John Rhys Davy to, like, understand the character, you know? <laughs> for your... For your, um... Viewers. I am Hispanic. I'm a New Yorker. I was born in New York to his I know. We, we still don't forgive you for being a New Yorker. But, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at is that well, every person has their point of view. Right? Sure. But, like, my whole thing is, like, I think this, this is kind of a nonsense notion, right? You know, like, I don't... I don't watch a movie about, you know, samurai and go, man, you know, what would make this, what would make me able to relate with the characters in this story if it was like a bunch of white dudes with broadswords charging around, you know, fucking <laughs> Sengoku era right, Japan. Hispanic, there's a number of points here where you're correct, in my opinion. But I mean, like because... Shakespeare, I mean, you want to go back to basics, right? Like, I mean, you know, Shakespeare tales are timeless. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, what it is, in my opinion, is a requirement, a political device. You know, it's we need to put a Hispanic male or a Hispanic female or, a, or an African-American in any of our productions and, and all of them. Because can we just tell stories about them? Yeah, I'd rather hear this. Yeah, you know, I can't. That's color. You know, why do they have to sell me uh, inclusion? No, please just let it be. You know, this is no longer art. <laughs> Holy shit. Art. Nice. You know. I know, and I just doubled it. Yep. Yeah, that's like, as I mean, it. like, Lord of the Rings felt inclusive for all of us, even as I, a non-elf, you know. I can understand Legolas' struggle, you know, with accepting Gimli as a, as a, cre as a human creature. Or <laughs> as, a, as a person. 
And, you know, what's more, what's interesting to me, I don't know if anybody pointed this out, but I figured it for certain, is that this is a Caucasian, you know, fantasy is such a... Well, um, it's a it's a European, you know, it's, a, it's definitely Europe, based you know? in like European lore and mythology, you know. I, I would I would say that America has you know this, you know the United States has culture too. You can't say that it's not, and it is the depth of it is in Marvel and you know even Tolkien. Well, I mean, I would say we've had we've had long we had lots of culture long before that, you know. Of course, yeah, but this is yeah, but, you know it's at least you know, part of great it. authors have lived here. So what's the big deal? You know, why do you? It's almost racism to have to include. You know, well, I mean, what the tokenizing races. things, you know, being like, ah, yeah. oh, well, you know, we gotta, we gotta check this box, you know, we gotta make sure. It's you know, not, we, yeah. we, it we it got boring. Like, if if you if there's one of everything, it's so diverse that like, sometimes you'd want to hear. What if you want to hear a story about a Latino or somebody a, who lived in the inner city? Like, you can't do that if all of a sudden everything is included. Like, you lose focus of what the story they're trying to tell. There's no authenticity, I think, is what you're saying. It's just not authentic. Richard, do I need any of these items? Is... Uh, I think so. Not for the not for Cornelius and for Evelyn, not really for Evelyn. Yeah, I think my own items are better. But but yeah, I mean, I just I just see this, you know. It's like we had the Amazon show. They put like a black elf in it, and it's like, wait, what happened to him? Like. Is he just, was he the only black elf and he just, when he dies, like, he's just not at Rivendell? Or do they all go oh, to freaking, oh, do they all go to, um, across, do they all go to Valinor or whatever? <laughs> I think I should go Glass Cannon, maybe? Yeah, Glass Cannon or her. You, you're not, you don't have energy problems because that Sword of Destiny just reduces things oh, to yeah. four. Fire damage on plus 60, all resistance is minus 30, or... I think we're gonna go burn plus four. Yep. But yeah, I, 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 or I just that it for the night. That um, I mean, we could watch the other one. Oh, I'm not staying up that late. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we'll we'll watch it next Thursday. Yeah. Next, uh, do it next Thursday, on. seven o'clock sharp. Um, we could watch the Rings of Power if you guys want to suffer through something. Oh no, I'd rather go to sleep and be able to wake up tomorrow morning. Oh, let me go something. see. Do they? Kind of do. I kind of do want to see it with you guys to see what your position is because I'm, you know. Let even me though I recognize... load up my Amazon Prime account. <laughs> yeah. uh, my I here's my password: iptorrents.com. <laughs> oh God, there's two of them. Oh gee. They, All right. Yeah, yeah, it's the first premiere. There's days, two episodes yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. It's release day. Oh my gosh. Fax. Gonna... He you left. Know, it's not appropriate for. Oh, Fax is back. Oh, he is. You, all right, will you watch oh. Lord of the Rings with us? Well, yeah. Will you pipe my audio through your stream so I can get you banned? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Monster. Uh, I'm just loading up my Amazon Prime account. Uh, my username is iptorrents.com. My password is go die in a fire Amazon. Then, you know, I, <laughs> hold on. You we should not. Be, oh, wait, hold on. You, you are, um, you are on audio right now, Fax, just to be clear. No. Um, but. I think. What we should do is we should all read about we should all read that speech from Tolkien, the one about evil cannot create, it can only corrupt. I think that's Gandalf that says it. Hey, well, maybe we should do that. Can we get the entire speech? Yeah, let me go find it. Paragraph, but yeah. I'll, I'll go find it because it's that's one of those things that rings very true. Oh, wow, it's so nice. My Amazon Prime account will let me download the file right into my watch night directory. Oh. Such a useful service. Sorry, Richard, I'm just walking around getting some files, but I... 
Yeah, it's okay. All right, cool. Now, now they're downloading. So, when... I will be going to sleep after this, so... Oh, yeah, sure, sure. But we'll be watching Rangs of Power, and... Oh, gosh. And oh, the holly pipes power. are calling. <laughs> there... There's no hope in this world. Hobbit pipes are calling. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me go find um, Gandalf's speech on evil and evil cannot create. Is that directly from Tolkien or is that? Oh, yeah. is that you know, All right. Oh, so yeah. uh, this is a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien. Evil cannot create anything new. They can only corrupt and ruin good forces have invented or made. I hope that's true. I well, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna see that happen with Lord of the Rings. Well, but, corrupted um, version. Is that what you're saying? Probably. It is a corrupted version. So much of that happening nowadays, you know, with. Um, I don't know, time. man. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, uh, yeah, Star right. Trek. I mean, I don't know. It, Maybe a few things. It's been happening for quite a while. Oh, there you go. Finish it, Ghost. That's right. That will kill them. And you have 60% more damage now, so. I know. I can cast it again. <laughs> uh, it, there's an item, too, that lets you cast again. Uh, Siphon uh, life? Why is this black hole zero? Oh, I want that. Taking that, it's a legendary spell. It's a mythic. I will say, you should definitely get Tarkov, Richard. It's a lot of fun. Mm. And I... I I had a... I yesterday had peak game of Tarkov. Just with some random on the internet who joined me. I hear a lot of good stuff about that game. What is it? The first we person shooter them. multiplayer? Is that it's a saying? roguelike milsim. But you can play with other people. By the way, yep. this is the last time to level up your cards. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll I'm gonna be, level up one of my meteors, maybe. We'll be able to remove cards up in the upcoming ones. Let's see, I already have that one upgraded. And facts, you should definitely get Tarkov. Buddies. Penyes. Hey, which is it? Huh? What uh, is Tarkov about? What? It's a first-person shooter, that I know. It is a first-person shooter in a abandoned region of Russia where kind of lawless is. Unfortunately, it's $45. Oof. I know. But it's certainly been worth that. It's certainly been worth that. I liked it so much, I upgraded to like the Super Super Edition. <laughs> I, it's just it's a lot of fun. Time to get so once we do this event, you'll start with one more energy. Oh shit! Really? Oh, so every, yeah. Every battle now, we'll start with one more energy. Oh, but only for the first turn. Yeah. So we're gonna use the service to remove cards because we have injuries to get removed. Oh gosh, it's sick. Sixty-five percent downloaded. <sighs> we must win this before. God. I know. I am. Um, I feel dirty. It is dirty. <sighs> now, as I was saying. Let's get out of here. We got two bat more combats. Now we're done. Um, no, I don't want. Do you think Flam's gonna above the fray, Fax? Yeah, I'll be alright. I think he'll be fine, but he just <laughs> needs to grow a thicker skin, you know? Really, it's it's it'd be good for his health to do that. I'm about to be able to stay up longer, boys. I'm tired. 
Yeah, I'm going to bed soon, too. Tired? So you're not going to watch Lord of the Rings with us? Oh, hell no. no I'm talking to facts. Oh. Next time? Saying it's downloaded, facts. You don't have enough rage and bile to get through it. Not by if, I wanted, if I wanted to puke, <laughs> I didn't have to use that. Well, what is it about? But we haven't seen it yet, and you guys already know a little bit about why it's. So, Bax, would you explain? Wanna... Yeah. Would you explain some of the lore-breaking nonsense that they're doing in it? For absolutely no reason. So this. This show was announced like five years ago. Yep, right? five years ago. Five years ago. And we all mm -hmm. were going like, okay, that's, that's, uh, so Tolkien's dead, his son's dead. And it's well, it was after Chris died because that was, he was the one that was keeping, you know, being his dad's work safe. So we all put on our thinking caps again. Oh, they're going to ruin this. They're going to fill it full of their ideology. And make it look ridiculous. Because Chris Tolkien basically told them, yeah, you better fuck off when he made the other movies, you know. Like, no, we're making a movie about my dad's books, okay? Not an art project. But continue, explain, like, the actual lore shit, because Fax is the channel's official Tolkien scholar. Well, first I have to explain the, the history of this coming out and this being made, so. Yeah, he's got to lay out the case. So as time went on, we get we get announcements like, oh, so and so was was hired to write, so and so was hired to direct. They gave this they gave the project to the people who messed up, uh, who messed up Game of Thrones and the final season. Uh, the two brothers, the Dave brothers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. They hired That's a bunch of. Happened. They hired a bunch of like. Blue check mark screeching like lady, like like showrunners and stuff to like also work on it. But basically, so as time went on, as well, time people that never read see, the stuff. As time went on, we could see that this was going to be like the Netflix version, despite being on. So because of who was involved, who was involved, and the fact that they couldn't stop like tweeting, you know. Never a good sign to be fighting with your fan base before you release a show. So they but start they announcing, that. like, the casting. And of course, it's it's all, like, there are black dwarves, there are black elves, like, uh, there are black strong... Hobbits. There are strong girl bosses. No, 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 no. No, they're not hobbits. Because hobbits didn't exist in the Second Age for some reason. So, they're Harfoots. Bullshit. They're, they're... they're "Quote unquote, like the predecessors of hobbits, like the, ans the ancestors." We was hobbits and shit, basically. Even though they were never doing, it, they were never around during this age. Okay. And they came up with that outside of Tolkien's purview. So they could make black hobbits, basically. They, they created an entire hobbits. species. Yeah. They and they made the guy look like Doc Brown for some reason. Well, that's a famous British comedian, which is ironic because he's always like, "Oh, I get to be on like real TV for once," even though he's been. Why don't they do anything about the Harad Hadrum? Or the... <laughs> I yes, I know. Wouldn't that wouldn't it be cool to do a story of why the frickin' Haradrim sided with Sauron and Sauron yeah, yeah. during the War of the Ring? What an interesting story about how I, how I... how how human kings had fucked them over. Like you could literally. Go through that. What led to that? And would be about the Haradrim people. Because and it could tie them. into the the trilogy, the original trilogy. Yep. But, but sorry, no, continue, no. facts. The wor the worst thing all of all though is that they've taken Galadriel, you know, from the original trilogy, and they've made her a Karen in armor <laughs> with a sword. Yeah, basically. Oh God, it was terrible. Show him the picture. Show him it. She's wearing Show armor him. and like doing flips and like cutting cutting heads off and. So basically, they just put they chopped the penis off Legolas, basically. Yeah. 
basically they took they took Galadriel, who was like who was like was the a leader of her already. people because she was a sorcerer and like uh she she knew magic and she she led her people politically. Yeah. They basically made her a guy. They call her Guy Ladriel. And she's she's better than everyone else. She's always like like cucking all the men around her. She's the girl boss. And um she teams up with a black Numenorian queen. Oh, by the way, what was the exact quote? Fairer than silver. Mm-hmm. She, oh. he, she teams up to girl boss with a black Numenorean queen who was not even alive in this era. Like, and is supposedly uh, Aragorn's uh, ancestor. And they've they've killed off Gladriel's brother and her husband. Even though yeah, you've yeah, seen I, her husband in the films. You see right. him in the movie. He's literally there. He's right there. <laughs> Standing there. next to Tucker her for like believe. most of their Tucker screen doesn't time. exist. Oh, so, so this is so this is torture on more than one level, right? That's, yeah, you're not, you're not trying to complain of this because they actually say the phrase there. "knife ears" in this in this shit. <laughs> yeah, Tolkien, Tolkien never named anyone. Does an before. orc say it at least? No, they're bullying Galadriel because, of course, as a kid, who the fuck would bully Galadriel? She's a super powerful wizard. She's sorceress elf royalty like she is the cream of the crop if she if she got bullied the light of gladriel has ridiculous powers too like what and uh box do you remember you remember the original trilogy when um she gives she gives gimli um, gimli three locks of her hair right i i remember because gimli uh, says she's the oh, fairest wait, woman wait, he's wait, ever wait. seen yeah, I remember the glowy liquid, but I don't remember the locks of hair. Well, yeah, she she also well, they don't really you know dwell on it. Just Gimli talks about it. She was the least fleshed out of all the characters in the original well, Gim trilogy. Gimli me, asked, right? true. Gimli asked for three strands of her hair because her hair is like Beautiful. silver light made manifest, you know. Okay. And she gives it to him. Which he asks, he asks for one, and she gives him three. And it's very thing, important. That's oh, actually it is? like. Go on. I forget why. Go ahead. Please tell me why it's important. Because dwarves and elves had never been like they they were they were in each other's throats until then. He was like, "Fuck elves! I hate elves! Kill them all!" But his mind was changed by Glenn. That's why. Oh, okay. but it turns so out it's like a unity. It's like a it's like a bridge between races. Well, it was more that she you know. She it was, was more of an insult to her prior actions, right? Because well, Gimli was, was a lowly too. dwarf, and she was kinder to him than, like, the king of elves, right? Feanor? Basically, basically, it turns out to be a giant middle finger to someone in her past, because... Oh, because the there books, was somebody hitting on her, right? <laughs> in the somebody books, there was an elf called Feanor, who was, like, the Hercules of elves. Like, the elf of elves. The Captain America of elves. Everyone loved him. And... He was chewing his usual, like, you know, hello. Schmoozing. I'm, I'm hitting. He was schmoozing her. And she he, she has a power to, like, look into people and, like, see their souls and, like, read them. And she saw that he was, like, a giant piece of shit, actually, inside. So she was like, fuck you. I'm not even going to talk to you. Because he asked for, like, three strands of her hair. Because yeah. oh, he, so, he, he was like, oh, could I have, you know. That's why he, she gives it. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's why she gives so it to she, Gimli. She, so she gives some fucking smelly manlet three strands and not like the, the Hercules. <laughs> well, he's more deserving, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, because he's more deserving. Because he's actually well, a good person. That's the way women not, are. Yeah. Not this like... Well, I mean, like, Gimli actually is a good He's noble and, you know, he eventually comes to accept, you know, Legolas as being human. <laughs> Gimli's a prince. People always forget that. Right, because he... Well, wait, is Gloin... Yes, what? He's a prince. Gloin was a prince at the time. Is Gimli? Gimli? Are you saying? Wait, Gimli is a dwarf, right? Yes, he's, most yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah, he's the. He's related to these guys in the Hobbit, right? Yes, you he's, see, yeah, uh, his father Gloin is there. Yeah, that's the one. I love this. I love this Gloin guy. It's I ironic. Because 
most of the fellowship is royalty of some sort. Yeah. Well, you know, they. I guess. I yeah, because Legolas is they're... Thranduil's son. Aragorn is Aceliador's heir. That was normal, right? For the nobles is, like... to be the most adventurous. Boromir is um, the son of the steward of Gondor. Um, you know, the hobbits are just nobodies. Um, the, the, the joke is that, like, you know, Gimli and, uh, the Legolas are, are, they're royalty, so they, they, they are brought up with etiquette, you know, they, they were le made to learn instruments, all that shit, uh, manners, and they're traveling around with, with, with a bunch Strider, of hicks. No, with Strider, who's actually also royalty, but he's also a ranger, so he's doing shit like... Smelling animal dung and eating dirt and like reading the wind, and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing, dude?" <laughs> He's Not doing the way. ranger shit, like, like you know, licking his finger and like, like judging, like, "Oh, three <laughs> animals walked by," you know. And they're used to like being royalty. So they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Is this guy? <laughs> Why is he eating and then the dirt do they like know that he's royalty? Is it? Not at first. Later no. on, later on they and find does, out. But he do, he does know. He yes. himself is. I think he was told probably by his father, his father or mother or something that he's heir to well, a remember, Celiator. He, he's a he's a race of people that uh, lives very very very. Well, long they're life. they're part elvish, right? Something. No, no. no. Numenorians. They're Numenorians are. Extreme long lived humans. They don't, if they share elven blood, it's like way far back. Because they, they do not relate to elves. Is this the Uber race? Oh dear. No. Aragorn were, is actually they were like. Demigods, basically. If I remember right, Aragorn is actually like over 100. Yes. 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 By the time of the, by the time of fellowship, yeah, he's like over 100. So he's been a ranger for like all that time. So he's gone. He's a level. Time. He's a. He's. I mean, he's. He's probably a level ten ranger, level ten fighter, or some nonsense. Some weird he's multi class. Gone, he's gone like nature crazy, like like long time ago. He's returned to monkey. Yes, literally. Return to monkey. Return of the man. You know. Well, uh, technically, I mean, his his girlfriend has returned to monkey. <laughs> Warhammer joke. This looks like a uh, darkest dungeon. Mm. A little bit. You got four dudes, and you fight up to four dudes, and but instead of like the abilities, you each have a deck. You build over time. Oh. You and your dick building game. Wait, it's what? Pronounced? It's pronounced dick. Dick. A dick building game? Yeah. Dick building game. I'm just saying we have we have rings of power one and two facts. We have the technology. Don't don't make me pull it out. What a threat that is, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I can get that extra mana. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, we need some more focus fire damage on him. Do you have any Kobo ones on that yet? No, no. Oh, that was so funny with, um, what's his name? He just was bullying her. <laughs> They're just like abusing the crap out of each other. It's hilarious. You saw that clip I said, right? They did the meme. Let me take a look now, because that was, uh, Busy. I was in a non-area, a non-audible area. Got to stack the burn, baby. Do it. That's twenty-three by itself. So. Yeah. Remember, you're you get three uh, free mana as long as you cast three fire spells. After that. Nani. Nani. Kobo always makes me laugh. Ridiculous. <laughs> Did he just wet himself? Fuck! <laughs> I know. It sounds... Like, what's going on there? <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> I 
Well, I don't know what to say, you know. How can, you know, like, the TV and film and, you know, in our time just disrespect constantly and then expect results. But they, they you know... Do they expect they results? Get they get the fucking results because this is a, you know, capitalist... Hollywood society. accounting. No, no, no you know? bullshit. Don't blame capitalism for the own folly of, of assholes. I, you know, but then look at Diablo Immortal. That's you know, not got banned in China. TV. It's kind of fucked. I mean. Yeah, it was part of China. You know, we, you know, in our face, Blizzard says, we're going to make you pay out your nose in order to play this game. And people pay. So I blame com uh, capitalism. Communism. Yes, that's the wrong thing to blame. It doesn't even make sense. Why I you blame absolutely it. blame it. You capitalism know, I, is not greed. Capitalism is not equal to greed, you know. <laughs> the, the picture that Kane posted. No hate watching. No money. <laughs> Come on, Wait, man. Yeah. No, I like I like that post. I, I agree with him. We should just watch without hate. What so no? It, it means don't reason. watch it at all. This is it'll it'll end this terrible streaming thing, right? So much you're, damage. you're right about that. We sh we shouldn't hate. You know, we, we are disappointed. Very disappointed. Fox, you've missed you completely know. Lester's yeah, message. Oh, did I? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Very I simple here. My own message, but okay. I mean, but like, okay, like, not. I, I don't know how you value that as a, this show as a success. It's not like they're tracking private trackers' torrent numbers, you know. Right? <laughs> also, I noticed that CBS is making one Star Trek and Amazon Prime is making another. And the, obviously the script, the value of the script and the writing and everything is very different. What is it? Is it Picard that's written by Amazon? And uh, No, Picard is like by, uh, CBS or something. CBS is the original, right? Star Trek owner? Ah. Uh... It has to be. In my opinion, it, you know, in my understanding, it is. I don't know. I need to find out. This is an important thing. That. I do need to watch more Kobo facts, but I don't know enough Indonesian to make it fully worth it. <laughs> we must have more clips. Yeah. You know she has a million subscribers already on YouTube? Yeah, she's, she was the fastest rising until Salome came out. <laughs> Wait, Salome? <laughs> You've not seen N Niji Sanjay's... Salome? That's no. She... That's a Is she the the brown woman or? Nice. She's the girl with the pink hair with the hair drills. Wait, is she the Chuni? No. Uh, she... Unfortunately, Evelyn got blown up. She's the Dude. she's the girl who's always saying this I'm not familiar. Like a, like a Ojo, but she's fucking hilarious. You've already made a million. She did it in like two weeks. Jeez. Literally, like, the fastest growth ever. What was it? Three million or something? Over 1.5, like... I don't believe those numbers. Those don't sound realistic facts. Right those are rookie numbers. Debut. We might die. Very well might. Yeah, what happened was he turned your the burn stacks on you into dark, and then you exploded. Ah! Not flash freeze. Remember that stealth gives you like six. That stealth would give you sixty percent damage on their next. See what attack. we can do. Oh, Heiner might be able to kill it. Because there's a lot of crack stacks on him right now. Oh, and across shit. the obelisk are different characters. Do different characters go by the same name, or is it random? Same name. 
same names, so their personalities. They're kind of, yeah. Personalities there. You get like a character unit. So you can choose a variety. No, I mean variety. it's it's all Heiner. The Heiner it's class, all Heiner. basically. It's all Heiner. There's sixteen classes, I think. There's sixteen characters. There's four classes. Oh right. They, yeah, each class kind of fits into a different. On. Like you well, get the ability to meteor, and that's sixty percent more damage. Uh, Explosion. Well. Well, we'll see. Hopefully. Ah. Uh, Oh good, he he did attack out of that. That was fortunate. Yeah, Heiner's been tanking like a boss for you. I just can't do anything when he turns all the fire stacks at the explosion ones. Why is he didn't yeah. kill uh, Cornelius with that? Yes, this is true. Bludgeon. <laughs> Malaka. Are you excited for the Battle of the Five Armies facts? Because that's the only Hobbit movie you haven't seen. Mm -hmm. I wonder what will happen. Before, Have you seen these before? Sure. Oh, yes. No, um, hot facts and logic. I've read the book like when you were a kid. I've only seen the, only seen the first two. Well, first I've read the book. Man, I need to reread the books, but who has patience? It's like 200 books? pages! Oh, come on, it's not that long. No, I know, I'm saying yeah. it's quick. I knew that would happen. That was gonna happen. Listen, Don't worry, he Heiner can probably kill him now. Just listen to the audiobook. I guess we can. I don't know if I could listen to a Tolkien audiobook. Did I watch the 70s animated? animated? Okay, so Tony Galati, I have not watched the 70s animated stuff. Alright, one more fight, Gus. That's also Kino. But we may watch that. We do have episode one and two of Rangs of Power because of my definite Amazon Prime subscription, courtesy of IP Torrents. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's like I have Amazon Prime and like. I don't use it, you know, like, I'm not going to give a sub on my channel and, like, some throwaway account. I'm not going to, you know, like, but I'm also not going to watch the show on it, damn it. I'm still going to steal it. I mean, borrow it. Borrow without asking. I like the, the image for inner combustion because it looks like he's doing, like, the, uh, the Jeb victory effects. That's right, the DOOM! Amazon Prime is great for its 70s, 80s catalog. Wait, you've watched four 80s ninja movies? Tony. Also, Tony, am I invited to your daughter's wedding? <laughs> the wedding of my daughter. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony! Hey, Tony! You trying to tell me a shrimp fry this rice, Tony? Wow, that's actually a pretty good Cali. Do you like the second figure? <laughs> the Pog face? Uh, Richard, should I cruise? Should I martyr him? You shouldn't need to. I'll be using it with Heiner and uh, Melkola. You have such little health, it's like a quarter <clears throat> of your health. Fair point. Just get rid of that clone first. Now we can focus on the. You're business. catering from Chipotle at Chidada's wedding? Can't drink with your pole. Your bottle. We got any gabagool. Gabagool? When when are when are Hana and Hane gonna do Cali though? That's my question. The only question. So they're gonna bring Chipotle to an Ita Italian wedding? I tell you. 
Yabba Dabba Ghoul, as the Italian Flintstones would say. Um. Yeah, you should be able to get him with Cornelius. That's the plan. Yes. Thank you. That was really helpful. Yeah, I'm glad I got it out before it died. Yeah, use the encyclopedia, because the, lo the, qu longer, the quicker we can cycle some really powerful spells. Better. Yes? The elemental bolt's really good for a zero cost that you get to get. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Remember that it's, if it doesn't vanish, it stays in your deck. Ah, so it in. Yeah, that, that clip of them bullying each other is pretty funny. Two of them. Everyone wants them to be brother and sister because they both have blue hair, even though Kobo's is clearly water blue. His is like a different blue. Plebeians. Did you watch the old Mad TV skit facts, Lord of the Blings? No. Have you never seen it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just, just look it up, facts. I. <laughs> he cannot explain it. It's, it's that good. <laughs> It's so, it's such a bad sketch, too. It's, it's just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Misery! Yeah. Have to get rid of these sad cards. It's gonna be hard putting burn stacks on him because he's he just turns ethereal every other turn. Yeah. You turn ethereal. I'll show you ethereal. Done. Tempted. Mm, I don't know if you want to burn. Use yeah, the burn is better. That's good to just get out of your deck. Boy. Yep. Right. Do I have a problem with Chipotle? Honestly. Chipotle is like less than mid, okay? It's not great. There's nothing special about Chipotle. Alright. It's just it's just like, oh yeah, it's fine food, you know. Okay, this time you're gonna need to use this on Evelyn. I didn't think I thought we'd we'd cycle it to Heiner and stuff, but yeah, she needs it. Probably that. I'd like to use the meteor, but I don't have the mana. Yep. Name your mid. What's a good, like, mid food? Honestly, are we talking Mexican food? Like, specifically Mexican food? What does he mean by mid? Like, average. It's for real, for real, no cap, straight bussing is what it is. Cracker Barrel? I love Cracker Barrel, though. Oh, Mexican? Honestly? I mean, you have to understand, Tony... I live in California, so there's a Mexican joint every, you know, two miles. Um, honestly, like, well, any any small one that's open at two in the morning probably is probably better than Chipotle. Oh, you know, the, the good ones are the ones where it's like they have the giant like rack of meat. Oh, that one's so great. No, I have to admit Chipotle is terrible here. Uh, Richard, yeah, should I use martyrdom? You get a bad Chipotle. Um, like on Heiner, food. yeah. I mean, there was a time when Chipotle wasn't mid, I guess you could say. But now, for certain. Uh, Can I undo this? Four. Four Can I hit escape and, and change my target? Nope. Uh, you cannot change your target. Yeah, I, I would say, like, most small shops, like taquerias open at 2 in the morning, are about as good as Chipotle. Probably a little better. Problem is they may steal your credit card. That's the big thing. That's the one nice thing about Chipotle. They will de you're gonna turn a box into a pyramid. <laughs> uh 
Uh, okay, so you're saying he turns Ethereal every other turn. Should I use Ball no, Lightning, so he's, Richard? So he's, he's not using Ethereal now, so Ball Lightning puts the most burn stacks because every No, it puts no burn damage, stacks. When you do damage, Volcanic... Oh, but... Seven, so, seven hits. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm saying, like, you're just gonna... Yeah, so you're gonna put 100 burn on him for next turn. The best Mexican food? I know the name of the place, but I won't say it because it's too close to where I live. But, uh, they make a... Make a foot and a half long burrito, a California burrito, that's, uh... Very nice. The best Mexican food is the Albertos with the C health rating. Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> it's, it, you want to you wanna risk it? It's either going to be no, really good or bad. That's the best way to get salmonella. <laughs> Don't be a bitch, ghost. <laughs> no. Hey, enough horchata to cure anything, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> that will not solve the problem, Fax. Are you kidding me? Uh, does Evelyn need to be undoomed? Mm, I can undoom her. The problem is uh, he's going to use Crushing Darkness, and the 140 <laughs> block on Evelyn is going to kill her. Oh, really? Uh, she's going to take 0.4 of it in uh, Bludgeoning and Darkness. A point 0.2? Yeah, but it's hit. It's two hits. One of Bludgeoning, one of, of uh, Shadow. Oh. Um, I can try to see if I can pull a card that might save her. Uh, that might save her. That won't give her a whole bunch more max health. And then zero ceremony. This Wait, what about Cornelius? Cornelius... Had a little more health than the other one, that's why... I didn't have enough for both, sorry. Well, let's see if it does it. Not this, it's not the next one, it's this attack. Oh, I did the front oh, hero. Oh, awesome. It only is front hero. I didn't read Holy that. shit, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, ignore, ignores block. Okay, so should I do this on Malaka? Uh, yes. That was poison. Hmm. Good thing Evelyn's immune to poison. Let's see. Might as well siphon this fire damage. Yeah, and I get to repeat it. One, two, three. You could have put a bunch of burn on him as well. Yep, he's going to explode soon, too. Yeah, the, the, remember, Shadow does almost nothing to him. He's, like, super shadow resistant. I don't think I need to use any more martyrdom nope. right here. Okay. No, we'll get it for... Somebody will get it. All right. Meteor! Doof, 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 doof. <laughs> I got an achievement for doing 200 damage. There you go. I can, yeah. Yeah. All right. I like how we pissed off Tony with disliking his mid-tier Mexican food, Chipotle. Chipotle. They're, you know, it's really hard. Actually, it's really hard to make good Mexican food. That's why you have... Oh, that's Mexican untrue. Food. It is not that hard to make good Mexican food. You don't... I don't think you might know what real good Mexican food is like, though. Um, no, I know what good Mexican food is like, but I know how to make really good Mexican food. I can even eat it when I'm eating keto. <laughs> God, that's why. Oh, sweet. Cast Got those Ember Storms at a very you opportune time. You might get them. Okay, Malaka just oh. needs to do a little bit of damage. I don't know if I have any damage cards left. Finish him! Okay, I do have this. Yes! That, nope, nope, he still lives. He's gonna heal? No, wait. Fuck. No, no. The, the fire. So he's gonna take 747. He'll, he'll die. Okay, so he's dead. I'm just gonna do this just in case, but he should dead now. Burn! Oh wait, why God. did the fire do double damage? Is he weak to it? So remember that when you put burn stacks on them, they lose fire resist. Oh! So you had 100% down on fire resist? Yeah, well, it had 200% down. So oh, if, shit. You, even if he started with 95% fire resist, he has negative 95% fire. So you were doing uh, almost double damage on the Scorch. So building that double fire team was effective, is what you're saying. 
It was. You did have a few like, too many cards in each deck, so... I know, I many. know. But it, that's the fun part. That That's why I made my deck small and short, so that... They Holy shit, like, oh. I unlocked a lot of shit. I know, right? 117 right. cards. I like that Meteor Strike, though. That's pretty nuts. That The item that Isn't gave that me the reduced uh, energy cost, that was pretty good. Well, yeah. The, the important, important thing for you was that you got the... um. On Evelyn, you have the Sword of Destiny, which is minus four energy cost every turn. So, even if you pulled a, your Meteor Strike, uh, it only costs six. Yeah, that card seems very useful. Especially in a smaller deck. Indeed. A I think swole. you should have gone... I think you should... If you wanted more burn stacks, you should have gone... The second um, of his level up tree, you should have gone the left choice, which is on hit, do burn. Because every on hit, I did take separate. that. No, you took the one where um, if you cast a fire spell, refund one energy back. Ah, uh, yes. That's why you're able to keep continuous keep playing those uh, low energy ones. But the other one, oh, we got another play. score over nine thousand. Right, but I'm saying is every on hit effect that goes off is separate. So if you have plus nine to charge, every on hit. So if your weapon did it, Cornelius did it, and something else triggered it, that's three sets of however many charge stacks you got. I see. And that's per hit. Cool. So if you hit five times, that's 15. What? Oh, I'm going to get some rest for work tomorrow. I'll talk to you later, Ghost. Thank you for playing. Yeah, we'll um, see about doing Zomboid this Saturday. Right? Tarkov is Tarkov Steam, is. right? Uh, no, Tarkov is on, not on Steam. That's one of the things. I can send you the link. What? Oh, I didn't know that. No, I, I know. Thought Tarkov was on Steam. What, what yeah, believe me, I wait. On Epic? Nope. What is it? On? It's on neither of those. Here, I'll post it in general. I'll post it in the general chat. It's its own thing because it's a super autistic milsim that can't be bothered to be on Steam. Uh, but the game has like no microtransactions. It's just very quick and dangerous. I would like to military simulator. Military oh, simulator. Okay. Um, and I would like to remind everyone that apparently it's September on Twitch and subscriptions are 30% off. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Prime right. it up, yo. <laughs> Ghost, I, will, I will definitely consider it. Um, I just want, what's it called? Excessive heat wave warning, really. Um, what's it called? Have you played it with anyone else for cooperative? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've, I've played it with uh, Mount Hale. I've played it with my friend Goose. I've played it with a rando on the internet who gave me a whole bunch of gear. Um, I've and that was that was great. Um, my friend uh, Kefira, who's in my D and D group, he, we might play it sometime uh, as well. And how is the cooperative, or rather? Oh, the cooperative is pretty seamless. Okay. Like it's seamless. About yeah, I'm talking about Tarkov. Barbara of Seamless, uh, and the nice thing is, even when you've got, like, a, um, a party of five, like, that doesn't mean that, like, a bunch of other parties of five. You're just, you're just the big beat stick squad that's running around. Hmm, okay. You know, other people are trying to legitimately fuck you! Um, okay. is the kindest way to put it. Um, it looks like Arma is what it. Looks it like. It's a lot like Arma, but it's a much more fun loop than Arma. You know. I'll consider it. Anyway, I'm gonna get to bed. Oh, also, you do a whole bunch of quests in it. <laughs> There's yeah, a whole bunch that, of quests to get it. That's I'm not excited for, but. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun, like doing the quests. Have a good night. Have a good night, Richard. This. Scar. How, how do you play across the obelisk multi? I don't understand. Uh, you each have a character. You each have characters, up. and each character has their own deck. That's good. That's good. Hey, that sounds great. I'll play that with you if you'd agree. I'll well, play I will play it next Thursday. Thursday. Guns are in this. It's a. Uh, it's like a. It's like a blend between. Darkest Dungeon and Hearthstone, right? Am I right? Hmm. Kinda. 
It's a card game, but it's a well. It's a dark, I, I wouldn't say specifically game. Hearthstone, but in that vein, yes. In that vein, yeah. Seems like fun. It does, yeah. Definitely gonna. It's I gotta put on my game. COVID mask. <laughs> Want to catch Why's COVID? That? I've got. I got a respirator in the game. Oh, I see. Oh. Find a headset that works. Not a headset, uh, my me, but a headset for my character. Stall it. I actually put the bullets in the gun that I'm gonna use. <laughs> But you really like the Hobbit box? Yeah, like, you know, it, I just can't find any... Well, until you pointed it out about the colors in the background there for the... for the and It's the first issue that I've seen, really. Because according to what I understand, it, the writing is... What matters most to me is writing, honestly. I think that... TV shows and movies live and die by the writers, actually. Sure, but uh, this this writing was done many decades ago. You know, it was it was it's well written. It's very well performed. You know, the the entire production is to be respected. So you know, I mean, compared yeah, no, to a, the nonsense mm -hmm. that we see nowadays, you know, it's a very good production. Have a site for that? Inspect this. Find the tail. Damn and everything. Side mounts. That mount. Well, the nice thing is, there's so much crap you can put on your guns in this game. Facts. Or a uh, box. Can I wear a vest that says "Press on it" and scream about UN Geneva Conventions? I can, but they'll shoot me. They'll most definitely shoot me if I scream about the Geneva Convention. Geneva <laughs> Convention. And I'll deserve it. It's nice to, like, and there's a whole bunch of inventory management in this too. I, I, I'm clueless about Tarkov, so how is it that you run into other people? Okay, you? so you all load into like a, a server map, right? And in that server map, many things can happen. Many, many things can happen. As in, you can, you can join up with other people, you can fight with other people, take their gear. Um, you There's a whole mode where you just play as like a pop-in enemy, basically. And you team up with all the bad guys to try and kill the really well-geared uh, characters that come in. We're going to stay here. But uh, basically you accumulate gear and you I guess you're trying to like get money so you can do better on like other raids or something. I like the, the game loop right now seems to be um, go into matches, get lots of gear and keep going. Um, it's, but it's PvE only in beta. Too, uh, yes, PVE and PVP because there are both human players that will spawn in and AI players that will spawn in on the same team. Okay. How does the AI uh, perform, in your opinion? They're okay. They're a bit slow on the draw compared to, like, a, a human player. But, I mean, if you don't shoot them quick, they'll kill you. They're okay. That's decent, then. Yeah, they, 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 they can kill you quite quite well. You know, they're not, they're, they're not like slouches that you can just like go left and right. I mean, if you have great gear, yeah, you could probably, and you great gear and you know where they're coming from, you can kind of waste them. I ain't no kitted out. It's, it's a 
necessarily need. Does it really? Does it feel co um, roguelike to you? Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, if I die, you see all this gear and crap I'm putting on right now. Um, if I die, I lose it all. I mean, I can insure it, but likely if I if it's really good, people are gonna fucking take it. Let's see. I need to go find flash drives for one. More flash drive. I gotta kill some more scavs on woods. I've gotta find gas analyzers. So this isn't in the past, it's like modern? It's, yeah. It's modern post, somewhere in Russia post crisis to some degree. There's like some crisis has happened. And this whole area is kind of abandoned. The whole area is Tarkov. Do we know what crisis? Not really. Huh? Um, but like, I mean, there's like ruined bridges, almost like there's like war kind of that happened there. Oh. Let's see. Lighthouse, factory. Go lighthouse, I think. Take a piss and that would be good. How much does um, across the obelisk cost? Not forty-five dollars. I know that for sure. Wow, across the obelisk is forty-five. No, I said Target. not. I said not. Oh, not forty-five. 45. Okay. <laughs> well, you know that's like an expensive price for nowadays. You know? It's a uh, twenty dollars. In in the age of free to play, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I think this game is definitely worth it for forty-five dollars. But it certainly needs more development time. I think, but I, it's a lot of fun to play. You're talking about Tarkov again. Yeah, Tarkov is a lot of fun to play. And then across the obelisk is also in beta. I'm guessing. Uh Or is it release? He released actually. Got my guns out. Hopefully, I don't die instantly, but I found an extra scar, that's why I'm using it. And honestly, I have no idea what the point of the two factions are in this game. I just know there are two factions. Sorry, say again? Oh. Uh, I said... Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me, uh... I know I need to change. I can turn my voice gate down now. <laughs> no. Now that... Now that Warner Brothers isn't going to end me. Uh, but there are two factions in the game, Tarkov, but it's not really clear, like, it affects kind of how some enemies engage you. Really? Like, it affects how the AI sometimes interacts with you. <laughs> but, like... Is it like, uh, so what are the factions called? Or Yusek and Bear. <laughs> Yusek <laughs> is, like, a multinational, like, um, PMC, and Bear is a Russian PMC. Yusek and Bear. Yeah. Okay. And like, you know, if I, you know, I see another USEC guy, like nine times out of ten, he's gonna shoot me. Even if I was like, hey, hold on, same team, same team. No, it still blasts you. So it's okay. a free fall anyway. Uh, no, not if you're a scab. Oh my gosh, they fucking spawned me here. Are you kidding? Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. The reason why being spawned where I am right now is such shit is because the scavs all spawn up in those, like, cabins up there. And they need to hunt me. Oh my gosh, the fuck is shooting me already? Oh, 
I was a dick. I could just stay down here and get those guys as they're coming down the road. That would be dicky. But I kind of want some high-level loot. And there are some dudes with high-level loot. They just have a shit ton of armor and weapons, too. There needs to be a- there is technically a third faction, you just can't be part of it, Tony. It's scavs, and when you play a scav, you play as a random dude, not as your character. Oh shit. Oh fuck, did I get him? <gasps> fuck, that's a minefield. It's also a minefield. Shit! Lol. Dude was in the tower. Oh! Fuck. Yeah, ah, there was another rogue there. But I did kill the rogue with one shot. The problem was... <laughs> there was another one nearby. Yeah, that's pretty much how PMC rounds you either go like amazing and you kick ass or you die very quickly. Uh, but that was an AI enemy that I guess had position on me there. He had position very well. Actually, let me uh, see if someone's on. Let me see if Goose is on. All right, in scav mode, surprisingly, playing the random scav is a lot more cooperative of an experience for some reason. Tell me that there's a ladder. There's like a tractor, uh, right? Uh, your I mean, you have stats. Yeah. Uh, you have stats, and you have, um... What's it called? You have stats and like you have you do levels and stuff. Like you level up. With the advent of professional gamers, you know, the player ladder <laughs> becomes a lot harder for an average, you know, Joe to take part of, you know. Sure. But a, they should, they should... a lot of the time you just go on when it's not, you know, high server count. I mean, it's like lower player count because you'll probably run into much more AI. I think that I think the computer games should um, have more local ladders, you know, like in your vicinity, you know, like in your state or in your time zone, maybe. That's the way yeah. that I would address player ladders because, it, you know, the way it is yes. is just... You see all the yeah. professional <laughs> gamers at the top and none of the casuals anymore. I used to be at the top of the D2 ladders, you know? <laughs> when I was a kid. But now you're just an old man. Yes. yes. And I can't even be on the ladder anymore, so... My <laughs> life purpose is unfulfilled. Wait, facts. Why does it's why does Bao's Twitter say she's debuting on September third? I don't know. What? I don't follow cringe, cringe. Twitch uh, YouTubers. Okay, Ghost. All right. I mean, except you. Oh, thank you. I love you too, friend. Just kidding. You're the only cringe, cringe YouTuber he follows. <laughs> you know my you know thoughts on Twitch. I yeah. know. I, I think Shia Lily is very overrated. I don't see her appeal. I think she's funny sometimes. I like her. Sometimes. Her model is really nice. Her model is really good. I mean, yes. But, I mean, you know, when you have, what, like, 
10,000, 100,000 subs, you can afford a model that good. I mean, technically, I can afford a model that good. It's just, you know, holy shit. I like uh, her model. She's pretty funny. And the jokes she has. Is she cute uh, I like also? A, I like a few Twitch ones. I just don't like... The ghost VTuber, that's your your number one Twitch boy. I like one called uh, uh, Nimone. She's funny. Nimone. Yeah, uh, Akuma Nimone. Mm -hmm. She's um. Is she a demon VTuber. She's like a succubus. <laughs> kind of like a a shitty pathetic, pathetic. masochistic succubus. So she's pretty funny. She very kusogaki. No, she's um, she got a big titty, big but she's just funny. Like, it's funny how much of a train wreck she is. Is, is she the uh, human embodiment of the "you live this way" woman? No, no. Um, just sometimes I guess, but it's more like it's more like uh, you 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 know I like the ones that have a distinctive voice, and I like I like when they're funny. She, she Do I like have a distinctive voice? No. Her big thing okay. is that... <laughs> uh, it's okay. Her, her big thing is that she uh, she likes to pretend that she's like like a big, tall, seductive, like, top demon. Ah, uh, so like, she's like, a chuny. Yeah, but she's actually just like, just like the short bottom. Short bottom? Yeah. Holy shit, I just lost a... I lost a really good rifle, and I just got a really good rifle back. Oh, please don't kill me, teammate. She she gets bullied by her chat, like constantly. Like that's kind of the draw. It's just fucking funny. But why is she being bullied again? For because it's funny to bully her. Because it's funny. <laughs> I have a distinctive voice, and so does Box. Okay, so about Box, he has a distinctive voice because he's an actor. <laughs> but I also found very nerdy nerd type. That can be distinct. Oh my gosh. Who is shooting at me? Come on, guys. Took out the bad guy. Everyone chill. Come on. I gotta start working on my own diction. On your own? Wait. You, did you say diction? Diction. I hear you crawling. I'm friendly, though. Hello. My mannerisms. I'm gonna take out this other rogue. I'm gonna speak that you missed. Yeah, I'll help you out, man. Uh, where is he? Is he in that tower? He is. Yeah, he's in the tower. I got him. He's down. Um, I'll give you some of the loot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I already got a pretty good rifle off the first one. Yeah, let me just take a first pass through it. Oh, you're good. Um, is the tower clear the other side? The, the big old roof right here? Billy? I have not checked that. I only took out the one that was in the tower I was just in. Yeah, I don't see one on there. I got a scope. All right. What level are you? <laughs> I'm level 13, man. I'm pretty new. Oh, nice. I'm like 38. Nice. See, sometimes friendly things happen. On the, on the net, it can be quite yeah. a rare occurrence. Alright. Yeah, a decent rig. I took a scar, though. So, have you encountered, hey, like, inappropriate behavior, you know? Hey, friendly, brother. In Tarkov yet? Or uh, not really. Verbal abuse. Oh, you know. Nah, nah. People just shoot you. That's good. <laughs> what facts? Look at your DMs if you can. Oh, uh, let me extract first, and then I'll take a look. Stop! Stop! Stop shooting back in the your DM. Read it to him because he's busy, though. <laughs> Read it to me in the voice of Sam. Right out front of Mount Doom. Do you do a what good voice? The Candyman! 
It's it's Sam Hyde with Ame hair. hair. And oh my gosh. I'm going to kill you, bitch. bitch. In, in your in fortress. The in the Hollow Rust server? No, in real life. Real life. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go back and watch that because I know she gets super toxic. Really, let's move it. Bring out her. It's so chaotic. Yeah. Fuck. I think I'm just gonna go extract. I got some really good gear. I don't really need to take my chances with these assholes. What happens when you extract? I get to keep the gear. Cause right now, if I die with any with all the scav gear, I lose it all. Um, but if I if I extract, it goes to my actual character. And then you can play, you can use that gear. I can use it with match. my PMC to like complete quests and stuff. Because with scavs, I can't really complete quests. Oh shit, I hear bullets. Um, but then the next time you die with that gear, do you lose it? Uh, unless it's insured, and even if it's insured, you still might not get it back. Because if they if they take it off your body when it's insured, then you don't get it back. But if they if it gets left on your body or left on the map, like on the ground somewhere, uh, then you get it back. Oh shit! Your gunshots over here. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck me! I should have gone prone faster. I'm pretty sure those were rogues, too. Yeah. Fuck. Man, I got two of them. You didn't extract on time, or did you? No, I... I was trying to go around that whole base, but there was a whole squad of rogues right behind the building, and they just lit me up. Those were all AI, right? right? Yeah, they're all AI, but they have really good gear and really good weapons, so it's just like, oh, shit. Well, that's good for the AI to be challenging. Otherwise, yeah, I kind of showed up in the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time there. It was just one of those, like, it was at that moment Ghost realized he had fucked up. Bring an AK, because I don't really... The thing is, like, I don't really need to bring any of, like, my high-value guns to these, because, like, I can take out those rogues without too much difficulty. Let's see. What mag does this use? Unloaded. Saiga 545. Do I have more Saigas? I do. But it's really fun cooperatively. Like, um, I had this guy who just kind of popped on randomly and he was like, hey, you want some help with the early quest? I'm like, sure. He gave me like a really good gun and we just fucking rolled through a bunch of scavs. Oh, shit. Hold on. Another porn bot. All right. Sorry. Let me go deal with this. Bax, you're a mod on my channel, right? Is your blue moon, right? Nah, I never... I'm actually gonna sleep. <sighs> I've run into three waves of those now. That's fucking annoying. You're getting more traction. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, good night, dudes. Have a good night, Fax. Okay, that's there, and then we gotta go to d -Li oh no, I gotta go to Twitch, and I gotta go re-time out my, um... <sighs> I gotta go time out my chatbot because of that. Mm 
can be quite the, the ta challenge, huh? It's a lot of things to do, responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I don't do it, I'm going to get banned for... Because it's like, oh, you didn't moderate the pornographic material in your chat. Like, oh, fuck, guys. I don't have mods. I don't have that kind of viewership to have mods. Was I? Oh, I don't understand how you can be responsible <laughs> for someone in the chat's yes. behavior. You know, I don't believe it's that's fascinating, correct. isn't it? That's I mean, inappropriate is what it is. Yeah, unfortunately, the rules are whatever people. It's like, yeah, what are the rules? Whatever I say so is the rules. That's what they say. You know, it's like, come on, really? Like, I'm just. Like. The, the problem is, what happens is, one person goes and it abuses the system, you know? And it's like, oh, you know, like, I'm. I'm dry, yeah, just try, people want to see naked ladies on my channel, ah, oh, ha, ha, you know, that's how I build an audience. Like, one person fucking goes and abuses that, and it's like, oh, well, we gotta, yeah, everyone's gotta get fucked over this now. I was like, what? This is not a sensible way to handle this. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to Lighthouse, and I'm going to try not get killed by the scavs that are going to gank me from behind. <laughs> Have you seen my merch store fa uh, box? No, I need no, to I do need that. To do I that. do. Um, Let me send it to you. Right oh, right I will, right yeah. I'll, I'll link it to you. Do you have the plushies? The ghost plushies? Uh, I do have ghost plushies. I would have to figure out a good way to ship um, them. Yeah, I don't think you can get to me. <laughs> I mean, but I, I have shipped. I have shipped like to non-first world countries before, and it cost me like a hundred fifty dollars or something to send something yeah, to the yeah. Philippines. It was just like what it was outrageous, and I had to like get a courier, and it was just like it was like what this is like something out of like an old movie, you know? No, no um, these South these American South countries. countries the uh, yeah. you know it's not like the postal service which is so serious in the u.s you know um whatever, whatever comes my way immediately gets picked up by some lousy employee you know and they take hmm. it for themselves so you can you honestly can almost never get anything uh personally delivered to a south american country they just steal it yeah, I know Brazil is always a nightmare to ship to. I always read about that, like, on Kickstarters and whatnot. You know, that's like, yeah, we just don't ship to Brazil. You <laughs> Go to the UK. It's not going to happen, you know. You're not going to get anything. It's simply amazing. You know. so ridiculous reason, that reason. these bots they just show up and they go to like why are you going to my small channel like are you gonna go win the business of my one viewer well like i, I mean okay here's the oh no here's the other thing okay google right google owns youtube right google has some of the most advanced and like powerful algorithm programs out there in machine learning right google cannot spend even uh ten dollars like the minimum bare effort it would take to get rid of these bots right like it, it would it would like the amount of information and data they process they should be able to like deal with these bots in a matter of like a month and what's up ghost ram but no no uh, there <laughs> there are still tons and tons of these bots on every freaking platform and it's just like you guys can't just handle this like what the hell man that's a good point. You know, how many billions of dollars, billions of dollars is Google? One of the massive. Well, I actually, I know the planet. answer. I'm, I'm actually being unnecessarily facetious myself. I know the answer. The answer is YouTube is a money loser. YouTube does not make money. That's true, though. You it? like people pay money to YouTube, and there are ads on YouTube, but YouTube costs way more um, than it makes. One hundred percent. So basically, like, basically Google, Google is, is keeping is... a social, you know, an important. important. Artifact up for us, I guess. 
in a way. Well, it's not that benevolent, unfortunately. But if I you're not making money, money, you know. Why? why are they keeping it up? Yeah. Like, well, just to the people, what's going on here? Yeah, exactly, Ghost Round. They did this. They did it to me three times tonight. Um, so why does Google keep YouTube if YouTube does not make money? An excellent question, right? Is it true that Facebook is also not a money maker? But no, no, no. no. Fa Fa Facebook makes money, hundred percent. Oh, good. Facebook What's makes that? gobs of money. Um, Google search engine makes gobs of money. YouTube does not make money. Twitter cannot make money. Twitter but, cannot make money. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, like the, down here. Well, here, but like you have to understand America, that the up, YouTube. So, so the thing about YouTube, the reason why Google will keep it, even if it loses money, um, is because Google has very scary notions towards control. And when you control the largest video platform, and when you control... Oh my gosh, they found me. Oh, so uh, they want to keep it for the control. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's important to understand that you, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook... Who killed me? Oh shit, that guy got to me quick. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google, all these companies... It's important not to get caught up in the trap that these are private companies, because by no marker are they private companies. Like, they're definitely, definitely not private companies. And it sounds ridiculous, right? No, they have, you know, they have shareholders, you know, they're not owned by the government. But no, no, l l hear me out on this. These are all, pri these are all not private companies. Amazon's not a private company to any extent. Like, Amazon... Like, it's so much support from the federal government. Like, a ridiculous amount of, like, what, a $10 billion Amazon Web Service contract. How the fuck does anyone compete with that, right? Like, <laughs> it's a straight $10 billion that, it, you know, the argument it would be, oh, well, you know, we provide the... No, you don't provide the best service. You just literally have that contract there. How the hell does anyone compete? Like, no one can compete with that. It would be ridiculous to try and compete with that. They've chosen where they're losing. Their, their $10 billion deal with the Postal Service that gave them a huge advantage in shipping. Like, no one can compete with that. Like, it's it's the, by design. And then you take that Facebook was a DARPA project, right? Spun out of the Navy. Google and Twitter definitely have some of their back end bankrolled by the government. And they do this, you know, because the U.S. wants to control information and propaganda around the world. Like, that's just a fact. It's pretty much an indisputable fact, I think, at this point. Like, it's just, like, what are you going to do? I mean, well, it's just, it's the way it is. So, you know, that's why the private company argument I don't really listen to, because it's just like, well, no, they're not, <laughs> they're not private companies. So, you know, and once again, you know, it's just very much interfering in the free market with all kinds of shenaniganery and... You know, government favoritism and contracts and other stuff that just, I mean, how the hell is anyone supposed to compete with that? Completely unreasonable. What's this? 8% less recoil versus 10%. We'll keep the 10%. That. I wish it weren't that way, but that is the way it is. I have armor available. I think I do. No, I don't. All right, well, I can go get a suit of armor. Hopefully this time they don't shoot me right away. Oh, wait, what did I just get? So, is it like a... Um, is Are the environments the environment stable, stable then? It's like an MMO that things stay for, like, permanently until the server reset? No, um, the way you know, that it the question is, yeah. no, I understand your question, but the way it works is, is that there are 40 minute long instances, right? Where a map will spawn with fresh loot everywhere. Oh, good. That's good. And you go into that instance and as a PMC, you always start at the very beginning. 
as a scav, you could start with like five minutes. You start with 10 minutes left, or you could start with like 30 minutes left. But, you know, things will already have been looted. PMCs will already have looked around. <laughs> so when you die, when you die an, an enemy player can loot your, your body. And they so use you. The way, what you, game is it that, there are games like the first person shooters, they give you special you skins like shoot. CSGO and stuff, right? For your rifle, and then you can lose that skin. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You can lose your stuff, basically. I know that in CSGO, there's a special, like, rainbow or diamond. Or a special well, there's a whole bunch of, like, different it's... attachments and stuff you can put on your yeah. gun as well. And then you lose the gun, and then you're going to cry, you know? But... Yeah, I mean, you'd be, sad when you, you'd be sad when you lose yeah. shit, yeah. <laughs> I know uh, a friend of, mine, a friend of mine, mine in Texas used to make Well, money there's no microtransactions the in this game as far as I know. Oh, okay. Well, they, so, they, I'm impressed. Kind of like skill-based microtransactions where you need to not die. That's impressive, you know. You'd expect them to have them. You would expect it, yes. Just hoping I can just get to the rogues, kill them, loot them, and then get the fuck out before the scavs run me over. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of like bullshit, because like, you don't want, you want to get there before the scavs, but you also don't want to run too quickly into the rogues. In, on my screen, on my screen you're, still you're still loading? Yep. Okay. I'm still loading. They don't put you in the put queue, in the do queue. they? Or do they? Yeah, no, they do, kinda. They do, okay. Yeah, So close to finding my match. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Make me a Mitch. You were starting to remind me of Fiddler on the Roof there. Do people even people know even what know Fiddler what on the Roof is anymore? I've Maybe honestly I've never seen a production or heard of it. It's kind of fun, you know, it's a it's a nice musical. <laughs> <laughs> Those old school musicals, musicals like, like My Fair Lady and stuff. What is My Fair Lady about? Um, so, so the, the lower class, class in, Britain, in Britain, you know, a simple street vendor. Who turns out to be, you know, a nice little, a nice lady, and and there's this gentleman, who you know, works with people so that they can speak properly, you know, and he makes a oh, bet with his fellow professionals, you know, like the upper class, that he can take this this flower vendor, you take a peasant and turn it into a flower. Yes, exactly. 
Okay, make turn her from zero to hero, you know, shady to lady. And she talks she like this, this and all that, you that know. No, a Go respectful now. a respectful woman does not talk like this. So it's all about like helping this person change their outward appearance to um, fool some noble into falling in love with them. And then you know he yeah he he falls in love with her. You know? <laughs> yeah, I've. So, um... Where the fuck was I supposed to go? I started on this fucking beach and people are already fucking shooting me. Are you kidding? <laughs> what the fuck? Where the fuck was I supposed to go there? What a terrible spawn. <laughs> I was just, oh, hey, I spawned on the beach. Like, oh, okay, well, I'll try to go this way. Nope. Holy hell. Well, you, you get another chance. <laughs> oh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to try to cheese a cursed run. Basically, I'm going to spawn into a map. And every single AI is going to run directly for me. Because the game has a built-in thing called Cursed, where if you show up without, like, a whole bunch of gear, you don't show up with, like, a reasonable amount of gear, they'll just send AI to kill you right away. Huh. Is that fun, so or what? is that annoying? Um, when you don't know about it, it's annoying, but if you do know about it, it's something you can kind of exploit. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the w smallest map, Cursed, and hopefully take out the first guy and then blast the rest of them for loot. So you play for loot, but other people play for score. No, I mean, territory. there's the, the looting stuff advances you, right? And then you can build, you have like a hideout you build and like you, you progress through quest lines so that you can do more stuff and have more money. You gotta play to like sustain yourself. If that makes any sense. No, it does. It does. Absolutely. Alright. So, if I'm lucky, I'll headshot the first guy that shows up, take his shit, and then headshot the next guy. And if not, I'll do a scab run after. All right. Uh, it's kind of a shitty spawn, but we'll go with it. Fuck. A lot of directions they can come from. Oh, he had a shotgun. Oh. Was that a player? No, right? No, I went. AI here. No, no, that was a player, actually, probably. His response time was too quick to be an AI. Scav again. Hopefully we'll team up with some more friends on Lighthouse.
I wonder what the highlights were from that, uh, well, that speech about hating me that uh, Brandon gave tonight. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's not I'm the right way, so way to talk to the American public, I think. <laughs> you know, did you see like partisan. like did you see the platform he stood in front of Box? Holy shit. It sounded, it sounded it looked kind of you know fast. Let me let me just send you a picture of this because this is not this is not photoshopped, okay? I'm no, I, I'm not I, kidding. I this is so not hard. Photoshop. How is this real? I know, right? And this is the the seat of our freedom. Uh, I would say he's the opposite, but but just like look at that, he looks like a cartoon villain. Yeah, and he's got the American like... flag behind him and everything. Like, what the fuck? And then he looks like about, you know the things he <laughs> talks about, and then he's using that platform, you know, to you know, like the backdrop. It was horrible. I have no, I I see this, and I'm just like, what, what? Who would who does this? <laughs> like, I, I mean, you see that, right? You're like, it has to be intentional. Like, there's, there's, no one, no one would see this and be like, yeah, looks good, right? No one would sign off on this. No one would be like, what? Are you fucking insane? You, you look like a Star Wars villain. <laughs> you, you look like you're going to cut people. You're going to pull out a red lightsaber right there. Like, what the well, fuck, it bro? To me, it, it looked it fascist looked to me. And look at his <laughs> and look at the photo, the photo you know, like <laughs> his hands. I know. And, you know gripping and like, everything. it's kind of. He looks like he's right? assuming. Pa I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that what's going on here? And then you're talking out against, you know, what would you assume would be fascism? But. You know, like well, it's just it's the craziest thing, isn't it? Right? It's just like you you realize the optics of this, right, dude? Yeah. Who who did your lighting? lighting. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? It's just the most <laughs> surreal thing I've ever seen. This had occurred to me, <laughs> like, and I'm sure that I'm it's, sure occurring that it's occurring to most of us, you know, the U.S. right now. Like, what's going on what's here? Going on here? It's 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 just insane. It was the, it was the most surreal looking thing because I was like, "Oh come on, someone photoshopped that, right?" And then after the speech, you know, I went to the news websites and I saw how they translated what he said because to me he didn't make any sense. You know, like it was difficult to follow. And then they they of course cleared it up. You know, like well well. Biden speaks, Biden speaks out against, out against my, you know, this and that, and ex is asking the U.S. to fight against, you know, certain qualities and stuff like that. But the the entire the speech entire to speech. me, you know, I I I like the timing of it is very weird, and like the timing of it to me sounds like someone who's like trying to create like there's an existential threat that I need to like yeah. assume and unnecessary power. Supposedly, that's, Supposedly a, fascist that's a fascist trait yeah. for you to say, oh, you know, mm -hmm. the, the country is in peril. You are in yeah. peril. If you right. You know, it's it's you cr there's a crisis, man. I mean, you know, we, that's you know, right. normally we would be a open, you know, fair democracy. But, you know, because uh, there's this great threat that we got to deal with, you know, we just, you know, maybe we suspend elections, you know, maybe we, you know, don't give writs of habeas corpus, you know, and like it's like. Abraham Lincoln, you know, a lot of people have positive thoughts on Abraham Lincoln. I have no positive thoughts on Abraham Lincoln, honestly. It doesn't have anything to do with slavery. It doesn't have anything to do with, like, you know, those things. It's just simply that, like, if you look at what Abraham Lincoln did during the Civil War, it is the antithesis of what our society should be about. I mean, he suspended, you know, he suspended habeas corpus for his political enemies. He jailed his political opponents. And like he, he completely violated so many tenets that should be core to you know our well, democracy. You know, my high school so just, did not teach me about this. Oh yeah, no, no, there was tons of extreme measures during the Civil War that like, I mean, like you know people crucified Nixon uh, for you know allegedly breaking into his uh, political opponents. Um, what do you call it? His political opponents is um, like HQ. Abe just jailed them. 
I don't know enough about that. I, uh, you know. And they don't teach that one as strongly. Of yeah. It's valuable context. You know, one of the one of the tragedies of the the great tragedies of the Civil War, besides you know six hundred thousand corpses, was that you know the the country kind of gave up its soul to keep it together, you know. I shot and missed one from the tower. Oh, I'm I'm still have the Biden screen. <laughs> I'm gonna use that as my backdrop now. My back, my the back, the background of my screen. It's scary. Yeah, no. The moment that I saw him get on the podium, I was like, okay, something's not right here. You know, the, what is it? NBC News says, Biden tries to defend democracy, you know, stands up for democracy, pleading for the American public to defend democracy is what they say. But none of his words made that sense to me, you know. What I heard was hatred towards half the country. No. Yeah, that's what I heard too. You know, if if he were talking and he said, if he used different words, you know, then maybe he could have been, you know, more appropriate. I think he was inappropriate, you know. Oh, yeah. I, I agree completely. Hold on. I gotta tie Yo, do you have any heals, man? Kind of fucked. Unless he got killed himself. Shit, I gotta retreat, because I am bleeding out. Yeah, I'm bleeding out fast. That guy shot me good. But yeah, no, I mean, it's... I think someone um, someone made the joke, you know, that was like, yeah, when his polls were above 50%, it was turn down the temperature. It was unity. Uh, when his polls are where they are now, it's like, fuck all of you. Why don't you like me? Why don't you people like me? I'm the greatest thing ever. I got 81 million votes, okay? I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. You all loved me so much. Why can't you just see how great I am? You know, that's this is what it feels like. You know, it's like, dude, it's like fucking chill. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, I have uh, opinions I'm not really allowed to air about, you know, what actually happened in 2020. But, you know, I don't want to be sitting in a jail cell for 18 months for trespassing on property. Uh, but yeah, you know, just like it's it's just like, dude, like. You're doing so much damage and havoc to people's lives, you know, people, you know, th costs are through the roof, standard of living is in the ground, and like, oh, oh, oh you know, it's all, oh, why, why doesn't anyone like me, huh? It's like, well, dude, fuck, the country's burning around, burning around you, man. Things have never been this bad. Oh, shit. That was a lot of fucking damage. Oh, and there's gotta be healing somewhere. Ah. Uh. Okay, there's a bag. Bleeding out. Those items, please be something. Computer RAM? Well, that's not gonna help. Can't just plug that RAM into myself. Or can I? Can you RAM it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got like a minute to live. I can't find a single healing item. That shot me good. But my bleeding has abated slightly. Well, a splint is nice, but that's not going to solve my problem. Coughing, I'm wheezing, I'm dying. No healing items in the bathroom. <sighs> it's not a pretty way to go.
Mm. Really hoping there'd be some healing items in that house, but... Oh, there's a box here. Maybe that's what I need. No! There's a garage, maybe? How long do you have to live? <laughs> 11 health points. Oh, is it ticking down, or are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm ticking down. Nine health points. I'm so close to living, too. Fuck. Come on. Six. Five. Just a little bit more. Oh, four. Come on. Let me see if I just maybe go prone. I'm losing so much blood. I can't even see my blood everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I took that one I took that one gunshot from that dude and it killed me. It was a sniper named One Eye. Oh, get fucked. But yeah, the the optics of um that speech. It's Ram Ranch. Biden should come out in a black cloak and talk about his new galactic empire. It would honestly have been more believable. That would honestly I would have been like, "Oh yeah, I can see it." Like if he had just said, "I am now declaring my new galactic empire." I'd have been like, Seems reasonable. Sounds like something we do. You know, it, <laughs> this whole notion of just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I know what I have to do. I've got to unequip that from that. Uh. And then I can put a scope on it. Can't? Huh, very strange. This will be a new galactic empire! You know, that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> it would it would have been comical, but I've been like, oh, seems right, seems right. This Death Star is now fully operational. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. No. Then this it's trees. The funny thing is that this is the direction that our nation is going in, supposedly, right? Into some sort of it's not be a democracy anymore. It's supposed to be, you know, something else. We've got democracy 2.0. Okay, we're basically everything is democracy if we say it's democracy. What is it? What is it that we're turning into? Someone in chat, tell me because I. I mean, in reality, we're kind of already like a slight fascist dictatorship of some sort, I would say. Right. But, you know, it's just like, I mean, this the it's the combination of corporate and state power that's kind of just, you know, controlling basically everything right now. So we're kind of stuck on that front. I hope it pans out, because um, I would, you know, I would like for things to not get violent. <laughs> and we, gonna, supposedly, the middle class is shrinking again, right? It is. And there will be massive, be massive poverty, poverty and then an even smaller 0.001% with millions and millions and millions, so... I mean, you know, it's like, oh, they have too much money, but, like, reality is, I mean, like... 
you know, that's that's kind of the point of government is to aggregate a whole bunch of money to a few individuals. I mean, that are its biggest political and social backers. I mean, that's that's kind of be always been the point. Like, it doesn't sound it sounds lame and it doesn't sound fun, but I mean, it's just kind of the way it is. I wish it weren't that way, but more or less it is. Wait, no loaded mags for this? 366 TKM? Yeah, basically that's kind of what happens everywhere in the world. You know, is that a small group of either wealthy or powerful people, um, you know, just accumulate a whole bunch of power. And if you're lucky, they'll wield it responsibly. But more realistically, you're probably going to get screwed. You know. But, remember, Box, there's a chance. <laughs> What's the What's chance? The there's a chance what it might chance work out for a bit. I mean, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe the trains right, will... Right. Maybe, maybe the right. trains will run on time for a little, but I mean... <laughs> Right, I, I think that we're nearing the end of the human race, actually, you know? I don't know about that. Everyone thinks they're living in the end times. I guess so. I've never thought of it until now. Everyone thinks we're living in the end times, and, you know, basically everyone is full of themselves and thinks they're special. Is kind of what it comes down to. Um, I mean, so many different... Yeah, I understand, so many different societies have lived through great crises like these. You know, it's just we're living and suffering through one right now, so we feel it the most. Uh, you know, who you would know, have who thought, thought that our childhood would have been the time of peace in our lives, and now this? Well, I mean, it doesn't seem too unrealistic when you think about it in, like, the long term of history, you know? Like, oh, well, you know, I mean, what, there was the Vietnam War in the 70s, there was the Korean War in the 60s, and the civil rights riots going on then. I mean, you know, there was a whole bunch of uncertainty and unrest that was going on, right? Like, it wasn't just, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows still, you know, communist infiltration of the country and a bunch of other stuff that, you know, was going on concurrent with all this. So, I mean... They like to romanticize. Ah, oh, you know, it was there was some sunshine and rainbows, but you know, it was it was still shit back then too. Oh, I have to level up Ragman, but then I can get that. All right, so I've got my sniper rifle. Let me reload it. Wait, heck! Why not actually put the mag in? Oh, very strange. But when it comes down to it, I think we'll figure it out. But, you know, we're at, we're in for some hard times ahead. You have more faith in humanity than I do right now. Ah, it's not a matter of faith in humanity, I mean... I, I fully, I fully expect, expect for China to invade Taiwan and for Iran to join Russia and Taiwan and korea north korea will an china invade taiwan it's interesting I think, because yeah, by all logistical but listen by all logistical standards an invasion of taiwan right in china's backyard should be an absolute slam dunk but slam dunk to what in what way absolute win you mean? well it should be an absolute win for them yeah. however however Naval invasions have so many ways they can go absolutely tits up and wrong. Basically, the probable reason China is not doing an invasion of Taiwan is that a failed invasion of Taiwan would probably lead to the collapse of the Communist Party in China. Huh. Like, it, I don't... I don't happen, see, though? I don't, well, because I don't see them surviving, failing an invasion of Taiwan. You don't see them failing an invasion of Taiwan? No, 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 I'm saying, if they fail, right, if their invasion of Taiwan failed, I don't see them politically surviving. But it's not gonna, they, 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 prob they probably will. 
No, I, I think they won't do it. Be- I, I think they won't do it because to do so would be catastrophic if they failed. Who would take them out of power? Their people are silenced. Well, like, you what know, you? No one can speak no, out. No, no, no. But it's, but it's, even over yeah. Some... But you're assuming it would be a revolution of the people, and the answer is no. It would not be. It has the largest standing army on the planet. Right, but no one can it wouldn't. The... But box, it would not be the people that do it. You understand? Who would overthrow the government? The Chinese government. Well, someone else that wants power. No, I, I don't think that they have anything to worry about. I'm scratching my head as, head as to why we haven't started World War Three. Why haven't we started World War Three? Yeah. It should happen any moment now. Is my I, mm, I don't think the tensions are that bad yet. There's a lot of posture. When, when, when China, China invades, invades Taiwan, when it happens, we're not going to have microprocessors. That's going to be a big well, I'm saying I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just saying it's too much risk. Uh, but we're getting to the point where politicians and government agencies and people in power just don't give a damn anymore. They never gave a damn. Yeah. That's my belief. Somehow... Somehow My belief the past, is they have never cared about us or given a damn. Yeah. Somehow in the past we've survived as, you know, as a race, as the human race has survived through it. But Yeah, I mean, you know, point Rome, point. you got to remember, Rome collapsed, the British Empire collapsed, every colonial empire collapsed, the Mongol horde collapsed, um, the Chinese, their, several of their empires have collapsed, uh, you know, Imperial Japan collapsed. I mean, you know, most societies get too big for their own good and collapse. It just happens. But this is different. It's part of it's part of life and history. Uh, we're talking about you know nuclear war. This is different though. On a, on a right now, I mean, it, it, yes, there may be bigger consequences than prior collapses. A few hundred or a few thousand people may decide the fate of the entire planet wait was that really the word that brandon used to describe me bitter clingers is that it <laughs> i think something like that yeah i think i heard something like that from from his mouth how are you supposed to garner the respect of the american people if you insult them i wonder well i mean do you understand how psychological abuse works you understand how, like, abusive relationships work? <laughs> you, get you get respect from respect that? From that? <laughs> I mean, you don't need respect from them. You need them to obey you. Like, you know, a government, you're, no one, I don't think there's very many governments, or even people in government, that even like their citizens. Yeah, no, they don't care. Like they, they don't. I mean, it's it's, it's in a, we're, like we're just it's in a, I mean, like you know, even like their most ardent supporters, most political parties don't even like, right? Like the anti fight dudes in the street, like hucking rocks. Like the their political leaders don't like them, right? They see a value in having them around as like kind of you know SS soldiers or brown shirts, more so brown shirts in that case. You know, like they see them as valuable as like tools of terror. And to like terrorize their political opposition, but it doesn't mean they like them, right? People forget that before World War II broke out, they got rid of all the brown shirts because everyone got sick of them. But they had served their purpose, you know. So like the Antifa people that you know progressives don't like, you know, even though they may talk them up and pretend, no, no, no they don't like them. Same with like the hardcore like right wing conservative people. The party, the party apparatus and party establishment, they hate them. They hate people that ask them to do shit, right? Because politicians don't want to do anything. Politicians want to go write laws for lobbyists and collect checks because that makes them rich. This is why Paul Ryan is a very wealthy member of several boards now that he's retired from Congress. Because he, he served his constituents and his constituents were very wealthy corporations 
And, you know, that was it. That was his constituents and, you know, his donors. They paid him to do that, and he lives very comfortably now. Yeah, he also didn't betray them. <laughs> no, they, they never betrayed or, them. Just like uh, the colonel said to, to Cartman, don't fuck me. Don't you ever, ever fuck me. <laughs> Just one thing, Cartman. Don't fuck me. Those words will live in my mind forever. <laughs> the colonel is a Chad. Effectively, though, the dream world box for politicians is to have 100% of the world population uh, only watch mainstream approved news and believe everything they say. That's right. the dream world for a politician, because at that point, there is no risk, any any risk to their ability to exploit the system for money or financial gain or power is completely removed because only approved speech will get through. Like, if you see the world through that lens, you understand mm -hmm. all the anti privacy, all the anti anonymity actions that have been put forth. Like it all it all clicks together. Path of Exile puts it nicely when they say those who stand must never outnumber those who kneel. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. That's actually, that's actually pretty poignant. But yeah, I mean, effectively, the dream world for a politician is a global population of NPCs that just say, I believe this. Yep, I believe this. You know, and, you know, when there's, you know, oh, that, yeah, that sounds like Russian disinformation to me. Oh, that sounds like, um, yeah, that, that's a crazy conspiracy theory, you know. My question is, uh, how do you get the truth to the to the public? Uh, how do you really get the truth to the public? I don't think you can. Well, the problem is people need to develop critical thinking skills, not critical theory skills. And right now... Uh, the majority of people are shepherded through basically propaganda centers called public education, right? And they're not taught to critical think, they're taught to memorize, they're taught to defer to authority on issues. Um, you know, like, it's just very common, like, the way people are taught. It's not surprising, then, that they get bitter, they cling to guns or religion. Ah, I remember that quote. Yeah, well, come and take it, baby. Um, but... But yeah, no, like the the I, the the problem is getting that message across. Getting that message, like getting the message across to people, it's not as simple as like you know, box. Like if you if you were a hardcore Christian and I told you Jesus isn't real, and I was just like, oh, you know, like it's a bunch of non, it's a fairy tale. Would that make you believe less in God or more in God? Well, if I were an immature Christian, I would take offense. No, but but Muslims, what the, the average, if you're an average person, right? You believe in God. You go to church every week. And someone says that someone comes to me and says that your God's not real. God does not exist. Yeah, yeah. I think I take offense first. And but then, but would it make you believe I, less or more, or just leave no, you unaffected? Make, you know, you're right. It would make me believe more, of course, because I'll be more right. Because you'd be like, well, no, I am a I'm an enlightened person. I have seen the way. I know. I know the truth, you know, I've seen the truth and you're the ignorant one, you know, and you know, right. it, it reinforces it. So this is, that's the kind of mentality that these people have when they believe like these, you know, these, they believe these things. To hear exactly. Any other well, that's, you know. it, the way it works, the way religion works generally too, is that there's this sunk cost, right? They've spent so much time and energy and devoted. So, you know, they've devoted, you know, years of their life you know to these religious activities of other people and rather than you know just accepting that you know hey these were valuable this is valuable time i spent with other people where i got to meet people i got to have a great time i got to share stories and share my feelings with people instead it's like you're just attacking this foundational belief i have you know and so you you know they double down so getting past like messaging it feels impossible Right, because it's just it's hard. I mean, you know, you're not gonna break people out of the matrix. <laughs> I read a report about this recently, and the idea is to instead of criticize 
the opposition, you're supposed to offer your understanding or your position to them. And this is supposed to be more, you know, politically correct than to criticize, you know, someone who thinks differently than you. Because if you criticize them, they're going to go down the defensive, right? So instead of saying, hey, you're wrong, you go and say, well, my understanding is such and such, you know, and then you play more neutral. No, I think the best way to go about it is to just point things out, but not directly. How to explain, you know, like that you just be like, wow, man, gas prices are pretty high. Oh, wow, man, look at that city on fire. Oh, wow, man, you know, just like slowly, you know, kind of like nag, but not nagging them in a direct way, if that makes sense. You know, like indirectly, just like, oh, man, ain't it funny? Oh, hold on. I got another spam bot. Why do I get so many spam bots tonight? Huh. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. You know what is bullshit? It hides it, but it still lets it post. I've reported this fucking spammer like 15 times already tonight. Oh, Bossy, you thank you for the timeout. You might have to ticket, you know, you might have to open a ticket. If this is going to continue. I mean, they're not going to do anything about it. Okay, we got that. Got that. Just what the fuck, guys? Come on. I just want to play video games with my friends on the internet. Thought I could ban users. What the hell? Yeah, I, but, you know, they have so many accounts, you might have banned him, right? And then... No, 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 I, I could tell because it was hidden, right, that it was a separate account. I know, Saber. Damn spammers. Some people just want to see the world burn. It just sucks. But, I mean, yeah, no, like, this. it's... I wish I could give you an easy answer to solving this problem, uh, but... You know, like, the problem was not made in a day, and the problem will not go away in a day. That's the thing. I was thing. talking to a friend whose name is Tango recently about this, and my conclusion is that the lack of answers, you know, the lack of solutions, is practically going to lead to the end of the human race. <laughs> I know I'm, I know be I'm be being, be becoming a doomsayer, you know. And yes, I agree that most people think that it's the end times when it's their time. And Everyone did. I mean, you Cuban Missile Crisis, you had wars in Asia that were going to explode into massive multinational conflicts. And they didn't. <laughs> Thank God. But how? You know, like, I mean, with, ego, with the size of the egos in power at this time, I just don't see how we can survive any longer. I even I talked even talk to, to my family too. members down here about maybe making a bunker and buying seeds, you know, because even you in South America, America, we're going to get the radiation, you know, the, 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 sun, the sun will be, you know, clouded with dust. You know, I, I'm, I'm starting to really believe <laughs> the end of the world. But I mean, like, even if you go through all that, like, what, the, that, like, do you want to live in that world? Yeah, that's what my cousin was saying. Well, why would you want to live? You know, like. But, but I mean, then, I think you actually have a decent case because you're, you know, not in, uh, you know, the hemisphere that'll be nuked as much. So, like, there might be a lot of livable areas where you live. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, it'll still be very difficult, right? Because. If well, I mean, farmer, even if I'm a farmer, you know, um, radiation and well, and I mean, more importantly, even if you are a farmer, I mean, you'll need guns <laughs> and you'll need, you know, yeah, land and you'll need, you know, like person. that. Because, like, you know, you think, you know, you think marauding is bad in, like, you know, say Mexico right now. Imagine when global what order has collapsed. Like, like, you're right. <laughs> you know, as I mean, 
Who knows? Maybe it'll actually be more peaceful. Who knows? <laughs> I don't actually know at this fucking point. It won't, you know, there won't be any government institutions to semi Well, people... <laughs> I mean... To pretend but, to protect you. you know, like, but, but I mean, like, there'll be more, like, local tribes will kind of build their own, you know... Bethy, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll form their own, like, you know, ca leadership councils or little mini governments, you know, they'll, they will, um, they, they will probably form, you know, basically whoever's got the most, the most weapons at that point will probably just be like, I am in charge. I am King Ooga Booga. You must bring me, bring me bananas and you may live peacefully in my lands. You know, like maybe it might be something as simple as that, you know, and you'll just, You'll just mine the banana forests, <laughs> you know, but like, it's yeah, there might be some more sophisticated things. It'll come down to fruits, you know, and vegetables. Being I don't know. I mean, uh, you probably want to get a lot of farms going and shit. Ding. Underground hydro hydroponics is my idea. Because who knows what the environment will be like, you know, the earth, we might have, what is it called? Um, scorched earth, you know? Oh, it'll be a mess. It'll be a mess. It won't be pretty. I mean, there'll be birth defects. The entire ocean will be contaminated beyond repair. You know, you know, yeah, no, no animals, you know, less animals or no animals. You know, complete uh, worldwide destruction. Thank you, human race. Well, I mean, who knows? Aliens could wipe us out. Don't give us all the credit yet. We haven't done it. Oh. Oh, you know, wait, wait till we, uh, wait till you, we kill everyone before you give us credit for it, you know? Oh. Well, I'll say this. It's not. Like, no matter, you know, you can panic about it, and you can, you know, fret about it, but, like, at the end of the day, what does that do for you? You, you know, I can prepare, though. You know, I can I can make the case for... I have tried to talk to family members about... You know, it is kind of <laughs> fantastical what I'm talking about. Your, your right to doubt it. But it is... Well, I mean, what I'm saying is, don't put your own life on hold for it. Right, no, that's true. But I may spend thousands creating a bunker. I might. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, apocalypse insurance. Is it worth it? I mean, it's like any it's like any catastrophic insurance, you know? If you total your car, oh, it was totally worth it to have it. But if you never get in a car accident the whole time, was it worth it? I mean, the peace of mind is what was there. And then what you said was right, you know, like my cousin who's an electronics and engineer who worked for Motorola, you know, I said to him, hey, you know, we should make a bunker, we should buy seeds, um, we should set up a hydroponics, you know, this is much more difficult than you're thinking, uh, he says to me, you know, we have... He's right about that. I mean, this is not like something you do in a weekend. It's going to require that we recycle water and that we, you know, filter the water. It's going to require electricity through solar panels. It's going to require not necessarily. A slew of, you know. Not no no. You don't necessarily need solar panels. I mean, if your grid is still up in that scenario, I mean, no reason not to use fossil fuels still. Now the problem at that point will be: Will there be a reasonable trade of fossil fuels in extraction of them? And I think so. There's enough in Venezuela. I would imagine that if the global order collapsed, a whole bunch of the uh, countries would just invade Venezuela and, you know, what's the Doomer conversation? Box thinks uh, China's going to invade Taiwan and World War. it's World War Three happening soon. And I'm just, you know, gabbing about that, I suppose. This guy had a duffel bag. What's up, Armana Clayson? But I, I mean, you know, the, the, but the other thing, yeah, no, these aren't some. This isn't something like you know, you learn in a day. You know, it take this takes time. It takes time, effort, and money 
And I mean, it comes down to, do you have time, effort and money to do this? Exactly. And uh, my family's, um, you know, speaking to some like nine family members, my family has agreed that this is not worth their time or their effort. Yeah. Not, you know, not investing in solar panels, not making hydroponics, not building a bunker, none, none of it. Just but I mean, like, even even if you got solar panels, like what, like, I, like I mean, solar panels aren't usually enough to, like, power your house anyway, you know, like, they you know, you, you won't have base power. I mean, like, I think this is a thing you'd want to do, like, if you had, say, you know... Your own place. Setting it up wouldn't be a bad idea. But if you don't have your own place, it's like, eh. That's a big My cousin was like, why would you want to live anyway? Just die, you know? Like, oh my god. Well, what do you mean you don't want to live? You know, like, of course, I I would want to just continue living, of course. I don't understand your question here, you know? (laughs) No, and like, I, I, I agree with your, I actually agree with your sentiment. Like, yeah, no, I'd prefer to keep living. Um, but I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's going to, you know, escalate that quickly. You know, like, Hopefully. You know, I, also, yeah, ugh, fucking hell. Oh man. All of, a sudden, All of a sudden. Another fucking bot. Bossu, are you there? Actually, hold on. Saber, can I mod you? Can you handle this, please? Hold on. You are moderator. Saber, can I ask you to handle that, please? It's fucking bullshit. Getting out of hand. You can put it on subscriber mode, maybe, or something. Oh, no, you really can't. No, but then they can just subscribe and unsubscribe. Can you delete those porn bot messages on YouTube? I have just given you a wrench. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you've been here way more than enough. I mean, you're, I know you're good. I know you're good people, Saber. It says deleted already. Ugh, but it's still going through to my other platforms. Fucking A. Why? Like, I'm trying to figure out why this happened today, specifically. I wonder if... Maybe it's because someone came in the other day and was like, you're boring, you should kill yourself. And maybe they just decided to buy some bots to try to convince me to kill myself, I guess. I'm just trying to figure out, like, why are they here today? Welcome to Janny Club. What's the first rule of Janny Club, Basu? We don't talk about Janny Club. It's a pretty excellent movie. What's the second rule of Jenny Club? <laughs> we don't talk about Jenny Club. Autistic wrench intensive. Well, what's lame is, like, I wasn't able to ban them as a user. Even as, like, the owner of the account. I could just put them, hide the user's messages. And it's like, well, that doesn't help. You're still going to fucking, like, give me a strike if people are posting porn in my chat. Like, what the fuck? Oh, what's this? It's a big fucking barrel. K-23? Oh, it's for a pump-action shotgun. RPK. All we can do is hide them. Fuck. Wait, what rifle is that for? Oh, it's for a Remington 700. Uh-oh, I hear someone loading bullets. Be cool, guys. Hmm. 
looks like the best move is to hide them. Well, the lame part about hiding in Basu is that they go through to my stream bot. Like, why? Like, it should not do that. Like, it receives the message, it goes through my stream bot, and it still sends it out, even though it's hidden on my YouTube. Uh, but thank you, Saber. Thank you, Basu. You guys are great. The message will not show up until unhide. Yeah, but it's it's still like the thing that sucks is it still goes through my stream button. I don't know why, but oh well. I'm honestly curious from YouTube porn spam botting, like how. What's their like click through rate? Like what what is someone paying to send out these bots? Like and what what do they supposedly get back for it? I don't get why there's no option to ban. I thought you could ban stuff on YouTube. Holy shit, fuel. Ha! Found Keck. Alright. So it gets dangerous. I can see why it's fun, it's fun. because, you know, like heightened awareness con concern <laughs> you know it's kind of like it's a bit stressful it. yes yeah. we can ban but it attracts more bots i see okay that guy's cool <laughs> oh it's always stressful like we were both on the same team basically well scavs so he was just uh he just let me go I could have blasted him, and I'm right at the exit, too. And if I had done that, I would have been an ultimate dickhead. Wait. Hold up. No, show zone gates. I'm here. This is not the exit, is it? Fuck, I gotta keep going. There we are. I'm at the exit. Nice. Oh! I has escaped. I'm free! You did it. Done did and I found fuel so I can actually do some more crap with my hideout. I guess all the uh all the rogues were dead by the time I got there. Who killed them? Uh, probably earlier players, because I spawned in with only half the um, actual time left. Because if you're a scav, you don't spawn in right away. Let's see. I guess, uh, do I have to go to participants to ban? How do I do this? I don't even know how I ban. I'm the owner of this channel. Oh, wait, do I have to switch which user I'm on? 
No, I'm the right one. I am 287 subscribers. But I gotta go to uh I gotta go to Twitch and make sure that that bot gets off my page. Okay, then I gotta go to DLive. That's funny. The website says, fill life with emotions. Find love with some whore. <laughs> Just like, really? That's the, that's what you're going to sell people on? <laughs> <laughs> Find love. True love. Oh, how many years has it been since you've seen The Princess Bride? Oh my goodness. Well, more than a decade. I love that movie. That movie is just excellent. I do need to see it again. Highly recommend. Princess Bride, excellent movie. A lot of girls <laughs> like The Princess Bride, too. Yeah, I know. The ladies like it, and sometimes even they are right. I wonder why, just, though. Why, why is The Princess Bride so popular among girls, too? It's a story about Wav. True Wav. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's you know, well written. It's a very old movie. Huh? It's an older movie, sir, but it checks out. Let's see, where's a scope? Ah, I want to put a scope on an SKS so I can actually hit something from a distance. There we go. Alright, now I've got a scope for my SKS. How do I get further with it? Alright, let's uninstall my internal mag on this. Shit. Yeah, it, I don't know. I just, I'm just shocked, you know. It's just like, ah, oh, we're gonna spam bots at nothing channels. Like, that's such a wide ranging, you know, like target for advertising. Really scattershot. But I mean, if I've heard about it before and it's gone on before, I mean. Some people must bite, right? <laughs> I don't know. Despite whether or not they go, they you go. know, bite for it, you know, there. There's always the He's opportunity the of yeah. capital, you know. I mean, you know, usually when you spend a bunch of money that you don't need, uh, you go bankrupt. <laughs> usually the way things go. Alright, so now I've got a good sniper SKS. Maybe I can spawn in a better place. Spawn at 8 a.m. God damn it. Apparently, I was called a grave threat as a MAGA force. Are we the Mega Force now? Sweet. <laughs> the, the great threat. The great threat. <laughs> Meanwhile, who thought it was a good aesthetic? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
<laughs> oh, I have to send this to you. This is so, this is what they compared it to. Look at this. The end times, the end times. I'm just curious who this speech is for. Is it for you, for me, or for them? Or yeah, like who? For him. For him. It's for him it's for is him. what the answer yeah. is. Yeah, like who? So can... Who is this speech for? Like, I, <laughs> I'm like, no one, no one who's confident that they won an election has to this much mention back that, oh, they're mentioning I didn't win. How dare they? Like, come on. Like, people that are confident are just like, yeah, no, I know I won. You know? Like, I'm, I'm not going to beat at it, you know? Like, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. I won. But you can tell he's insecure about it. You know, it's just like everything that's popular or good to do, you know, has to be screamed at you, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this I, is just the want, way. I just want people to stop trying to sell me their understanding and begin to, begin respect, to respect my understanding. I don't respect your understanding, but I understand your understanding. You know, but I'm happy to agree to disagree. People need to begin to respect before they can expect to get, you know, their point across. No, I don't expect to change your mind. I really don't. I'm okay with that. You think he was done dirty, but you think he is handling it poorly. I don't know. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he's just flummoxed at the idea that, you know, democracy might happen. Holy shit, they put me up here. Uh... Sort of terrible. I would definitely be a lot more sympathetic if, you know, inflation wasn't at, you know, 40 year highs and gas wasn't six or seven dollars a gallon. I might be willing to listen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't listen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There you go. You know, but I think a lot, a lot of, a lot more average folks uh, would be a lot more receptive 
you know, I, say, if I, they, don't, I don't think that anybody's going to be receptive, you know, like he's just, well, I mean, like on top spot. of that, like, did you hear what happened in Colorado? I think I did, there's, but go ahead and tell me. Please. There's a 90 degree heat wave and a bunch of Coloradans signed up for a special program called the air conditioning rewards program. Uh-oh. Now you may be asking, Oh, what's the air conditioning repair? The rewards program, huh? What's that? Well, it's somewhere you have a thermostat, and if you, um, I think if you don't use too much air conditioning, you get extra money back. They give you rewards for being responsible. Well, during a record heat wave in Colorado, which is apparently 90 degrees there, um, (laughs) customers that were part of this program and had smart thermostats, uh, were not allowed to operate their thermostat. So, you know, they it just, no, they just, no, 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 this was intentional. Right. They literally, they, they would call, they called the company and they're like, sorry, comrade, you are in a, we need to conserve energy. You're not allowed to use this. So basically I lured them in with the cheese of, hey, you know, if you don't use your air conditioning much, we'll just send you money. It's all about you. We're, we're helping you, the consumer. And, uh, you know. During a record heat wave, oh, sorry, man, you're going to have to roast at the one time you actually need air conditioning. But, you know, they got him with cheese, and, you know, now they're in the mouse trap. <laughs> oh, man. This is why I don't give the IRS access to my bank account. I mail them a check. Yeah, my mother thinks that way too. She doesn't. She doesn't like to give out any information, bank account information, to any business at all. I don't know. You know. I mean, maybe if it's a local business, I trust them. You know, even you know, but like the government, no. Never. There are a lot of rocks around here. The problem with sniping in this game is you heard about this shit today. Today, it's some shit. Yeah, could you imagine? I mean, like, what if it gets worse? I mean, if that's at, in Colorado at 90 degrees, they have to sh- they have to ration power. What happens if it's a dangerous heat wave? You know, what happens if it's a heat wave that's killing people? People will die in order to gain money or to try. And it's not even about money. Uh, this is the thing. The, the climate obsession agenda is not about money. It never has been. It's always been about control. 100% about control. What, what do they say at the WEF box? You will own nothing and you will be happy. <laughs> why do you think... Why, let's, let's just talk about electric cars for a second, okay? What, how, how is an electric car powered? Box, how is an electric car powered? Where does that power come from? Um, I would guess it would be a battery, huh? Okay, but where do you charge that battery from? You get it from other batteries. <laughs> no. <laughs> that the government, the government owns, owns or something like that, right? That. Is that what you're talking about? No, you get it from the energy grid. Yeah. yeah. Which is, and what? Which is getting... getting <laughs> The energy Where grid is, the, is could be run, run by wind and solar, right? It, what is the majority of the energy grid getting power from? Okay, well there we go. <laughs> then that would be coal, right? I'm guessing. Do I'm I believe the government does not already know my accounts? I believe they're incompetent enough that yes, I have accounts the government is not aware of. You know that might be a. That might be true. They probably know. But the end. The answer is that electric. The majority of electric cars in this company country are con- are powered by coal, right? You know the dreaded coal. The oh my gosh! Think of all the CO two. We're all gonna we're all gonna burn up. So they're powered. Right, huh? They're powered by coal. Now you saw that California banned gasoline cars recently, right? Oh, that big yeah, that big. 
2035, not allowed to sell any gasoline cars in 2035. So, let me ask you something, Box. Wouldn't it be weird if someone was telling you, forcing you to buy an electric car, and at the same time, in 2022, telling people, we're using a lot of power right now, please don't charge your car. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this guy threw a grenade! You know, what does that tell you, Box? If they're telling you not to charge your car. I guess that by 2035, they're expecting to have solar wind and solar But they're not. The, no, ma no amount of solar and wind power is going to be able to replace the grid power needed not to charge power. all of these electric cars. Like, that's just a fact. So what's going to happen? Worse. worse. It's going to be worse. It's well, here's the answer. They're going to ban car ownership. Like it's I, I guarantee you, they will they will ban private ownership of cars in the name of saving the environment. Like that's that's the only that's the only way this logically makes any sense, right? Is if they plan to ban ownership of cars, right? Ah, I got two of those guys with that Glock. I mean, it's it's the only way that this is feasible, and even the remotest way, right? Is if they ban private ownership of cars. Let's hope you're wrong, but you might be right. They 100 percent will. I I severe, well okay. If if they if they continue to gain more power, they will eventually put a ban on private car ownership. Because effectively, <laughs> you know, they start they start with oh you know we just want you all to get electric cars because electric cars will save the environment. As they reach critical mass with electric cars, they're going to say, Okay, so we crunched the numbers, and you can't all own cars because you're killing the grid, and no one can, um... <laughs> no, we can't... We can't power cars, you know? We just can't, you know? There's too much on the grid, right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, too much on the grid. Uh, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice, comrade, so that we can... Uh... <laughs> So that we can actually drive, right? So they start it at, you know, oh, don't worry. You know, it's getting an electric car. Electric cars are cool. And, you know, in their defense, electric cars are cool. <laughs> electric cars are cool cars. I like them. But, you know, the, the reality is if everyone's on an electric car, uh, what will happen is, hey, uh, we don't have enough energy for them. You know, there's going to be no, mass power. Right. We already don't have enough energy. They're already asking people not to charge their cars. So what's going to happen when half the cars are electric? How what's going to happen when a quarter of the cars are electric? Like, <laughs> you just have to understand basic fucking math. And you're like, yo, this doesn't work at if all. I don't laugh. I'm going to cry. What's gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like it's just like, dude, like you can't even <laughs> you can't even keep all the cars on the road when it's just freaking, you know, the very minimal number of electric cars that are on the road right now. Like shit's already fucked up right now. And it's like, oh, don't worry. We'll totally be able to uh support and sustain all of these cars on the electricity grid. Which is already overloaded and won't, you know, already overloaded and you know, you know can't handle the solar. The the hail mary we could get if fusion comes to comes to to become true, you know, like we're getting to the okay, point. Okay, but like, do you think that's gonna happen? I mean, they've been attempting that for no, decades, no, no, no. decades. Maybe you, when you, we're ninety nine years old, years. you know. Really like fusion's old. been a boondoggle they've been working on forever. You know, like, I mean, yeah, maybe they figure it out. And even then, I mean, is it safe? Like, what happens if one of those explode? One of those factories explodes or, you know, like what, like what potential consequences are there? Like, there's all, there's all kinds of shit that you have to consider. But, you know, maybe it works out. <laughs> Me, I'm not holding my breath. That would be really cool if we could get fusion. Every country would have their, yeah, own, their fusion, own fusion, like, you know, power. Well, power. I don't know, would they? I mean, are they going to give Iran well, fusion reactors? Ideal, right? 
that would be the, the idea that you know, you there's a lot of countries where you should be like, yeah, we're not giving you a fusion reactor. Like, what the fuck? You have to make your own fusion reactor. You know? Yeah, but this is nuclear technology we're talking about. And yes, well, Bossu. Technology, technology will be available to everyone. That's already. Bossu you actually brought up an excellent point. Blackout in California. Can't charge your car. Perfect example of things that would and do happen. Like, what do you do in that case? You know, oh, I guess I'm just not going to work. Cool until those lithium ion batteries burst in flames. Yeah. So um, Jim brings up an excellent point here about lithium ion batteries. If a lithium ion, uh, if a car with a lithium ion battery gets in a car accident, I think a good portion of fire departments actually can't put them out. Like they just have to let them burn out. Like <laughs> they're super fire hazards if something goes horribly wrong. Very, very dangerous. But yeah, I mean, the, the electric car, the electric car dream, like it, the electric car thing is just a. The, answer, the, the thing about the electric car thing is basically the reason why electric cars are a thing is that a lot of very wealthy politicians probably own a ton of Tesla stock and a lot of corporations all bet a lot of money on electric cars, right? They all have bets in Ford, GM, and all these electric car companies. And also, you know, there's been the entire, the, the green energy move. We have to get off carbon dioxide or the world will melt. You know, like are the, the polar ice caps will melt. There'll be catastrophic weather events. You know, this is why, unfortunately, the way climate change is, is effectively, we understand the processes of carbon capture and greenhouse gases and shit, right? Like, oh, things get warmer, right? But <coughs> the ozone and the atmosphere are far more complicated than just that. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's not as simple as just like, oh, you know, that, that like that. You don't just then take that scientific understanding and then apply it to a financial model. Like, that's what they've done. You just take a financial model and like, yeah, we projected it for X years and it looks like it's going to be this. It's like, one, no. 100% that's not happening. Two, what the hell is wrong with you? Um, and then you base policy on that. And it's like, why, why the fuck would you base your policy on that? What are you looking for? But, unfortunately, it has been a very profitable venture uh, to exploit people's fear on the issue. Uh, box? Yep, yep, I'm here. Oh, okay, I was making sure that... If it takes me a while to answer, it's because I turned my mic off. Oh, I no problem. You get Darth, Brock, Darth Box. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or at this, our storing box, sometimes. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's lame. Cause like, I, you know, like I know people always like, kind of go like, oh, it's, it's soy and cringe, like science and stuff. But like, I really do, you know, I like gadgets. I like inventions. I like, you know, people figuring out insane shit or landing rockets on the fucking moon. You know, I love all that stuff. I mean, for them to supposedly have actually had nuclear ignition where they got more energy out than they put in for a few seconds or milliseconds even that's but i mean like wouldn't amazing. that violate the law of uh, thermodynamics? Yeah, thermodynamics yeah supposedly but they you know i guess that we were wrong but i mean you know some things in newtonian physics break down at the quantum level so like right there there are i mean it's like it's not literally moving thermite exactly about like technically it's possible but i mean to get it there, like, there's a whole bunch of functions and equations most people don't understand or can't do yet. You know, we don't have enough supercomputers to solve what that's going to be. And then, you know, the te doing it, the testing for it can be dangerous too. Like, all manner of shit can go wrong. Yeah, you know, they may be claiming that they're close to nuclear. 
uh, power, but. Mm. Well, I mean, if you're researching Maybe something, would you tell them the truth, or would you be like, "Yeah, we're we're close to it. We almost got it." Like, you know, this it's one of the problems I've with it, the. I've you know I've read it more than once now in the past months that oh you know it's we're it's gonna get there you know. But by the same logic, yeah, it's like the same people saying like the polar ice caps will melt in ten years, and then ten years later, oh sorry, the polar ice caps will melt in ten more years. Okay, look, right. we know the last two times, but this time, the polar ice caps will melt in another 10 years. Like, I mean, I feel like you kind of lose credibility, you know, or it's just like, well, wait a minute. You've been crying, you've been crying wolf over and over, and we keep coming there, and there's no fucking wolf, buddy. It's like my cousins as a Christian. <laughs> The end of the world, man, you know, the angels are coming, God's going to judge all of us, be ready, man. Do you understand? It's this year, in August, it's going to yep. happen. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've met rapture folk, <laughs> they're, they're strange folk. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's happening, it's coming. It's definitely coming. Hold on. Wait for it, wait for it, you know, and if they're wrong, it's just like, oh, maybe it wasn't this year. And it's like, well, wait, what? What if someone took your advice and just, shit, you know, dropped literally everything? No, well, there are people who do that. Ooh, I found a new pistol. Oh, I found a 5.7, hell yeah. XFL. Where is all this shooting coming from? That's what I'm wondering. How are you doing though, Drum Boy 02? I could get out of here, but I kind of want to shoot some rogues first. Especially because that is a scav. Oh yeah, I mean... I wish I could give you more things, but I don't think... I think you should focus on what you can change, you know, in, in your life. Like... I mean, you know, like, you know, I, like could, I could... I have some money. I could make my own bunker, I guess. You know, um... But I mean, but, like, you should... You should be at the point in your life where you have the money to like sustain your own your own place maybe you're paying a mortgage right you know your own home right. and then you build the bunker you know yeah, when you I'm, can I'm at that place I'm old, okay. a little older than you are I'm, okay. I'm well to do right right you know um, well then what I would do actually here okay so if you're well to do you know your finances aren't really trouble for you what I think you should do well I would say you take Take 10 to 20% of your discretionary income, you know, like whatever, after you've paid all your expenses, set it aside, call it your doomsday fund. All right. And just, you know, keep accumulating that, you know, and if, you know, Taiwan cross, if China crosses the strait to Taiwan, you know, you, you go get quotes from someone on digging that bunker. Then it'll be too late, though. I think. No, bombs aren't going to fly that quickly after it. I guess. I guess yeah, yeah, you know, you make a good point. I guess. I guess at the if I if I if begin I at the begin very, at the start, very start, start, I guess yeah, I could make it in time. Yeah. Are the rogues live? Hold on. But I mean, like. You do not need an accident of very fail schooling. You dance around your grocery store singing. It's the end of the world. Maybe people cry when 2012 was happening. You need to say the next day was awkward. I mean, but I'm just saying, you have that capital. You can afford to do shit like that. You can afford to take care of that, those problems quickly. Because if not, I'm going to be... If I, if I do this, then I will be, you know, the three piggies that, you know, that... The wolf blew their blew their house down, you know. You know, if I make the brick house, it's not not gonna. I'm ready for Before. you know the end times, I guess. <laughs> but if I'm if not, you know, then I spent thousands and thousands of dollars. Here's what you do with your bunker, by the way. 
You actually, you, you be creative with it. You make your bunker like a cool guest room. Like it's, it's just like, you've got like video games, you got like old consoles, you know, you got like generators down there and shit to run it all. It would need to be something that would make money, I guess, in a way, because if it, I mean, hell, you could rent out your money. If you, if you, um, actually like furnished it well enough, you could rent out your bunker, you know, and then if end times are coming, you walk in there with like a, you walk in there with a pistol and say, Hey, I'm staying here through the end times. You can stay if you want, but you don't fuck with me. Well, you know, I just rent it out until there's some emergency, obviously. But it would happen, I guess. My aunt used to do this in in, in Long Island. She had, she was the homeowner, you know, and uh, she used to make rooms out of the house. Rooms that didn't exist before, you know, and then she use it to sell and to rent. You yeah. Know, and, uh, so, I mean, you can be smart about it. Any rogues left? Yeah, the rogues are out, bud. They're dead. You want to get the one on the left? I'll get the one on the right. Sorry, right. was that you shooting? But um, I mean, you can you can be creative with this. Yeah, you can sell. Yeah, you put a bunch of Fallout posters and shit there. You know, make like a <laughs> it's a themed room. Like, make it an Airbnb box. A South American Airbnb. A South American Fallout Airbnb. Things are a, Things lot, are a lot cheaper for me down here. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be able to say that I'm in a good position. Things are seven times, times cheaper for me here than in the United States, more or less, right now. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, take your W's where you can, I suppose. Yep. At least that's cheaper, right? But then, you know, you miss out on so many things that are so wonderful in the U.S. Like, you know, peace of mind is part... Partly missing because Fox, I don't think peace of mind really matters when the world explodes. Actually, there isn't peace of mind in the U.S. either now. <laughs> so, so I guess I'm wrong there. I'm just saying, like, I mean, you were not peace of mind, like, Box. The world has ended in this scenario. The wonderful comforts of the U.S. are, you know, and there, there is a difference between living in the third world and living in the first world. Sure. But, I mean, comfort's not really the issue, you know, I mean, like, at that point. When the shit hits the fan, as they say. Hopefully I'm wrong, I'm wrong and you're right and nothing will happen, you know? Personally, you know, I, I've talked with my parents about this and they've always been like, you know, yeah, that's... I remember, you know, when shit got, you know, intense and all. And then, you know, and then usually things work themselves out eventually. You know, I mean, but yes, yeah, there's a lot of potential for shit to go very, very wrong. Um, but, you know, we're, we're like cockroaches. We've been around a long time. I think we'll be around another long while, too. I wonder if there's, there's someone, someone whispering into Putin's ear, you, if you do this, the world will remember you as the man who destroyed humanity, the earth. I don't I think so. Why, I mean, you know, I wonder if that's why things aren't going sideways cuz someone near Xi Jinping is going like, "Hey, if you do this." Well, I mean, usually that's them. Good, it's good. it's usually them thinking like, "Well, you know, what what's the end game for this?" You know, like, do I really want to risk all life as we know it? Like, you know, which normally it's normally like not that difficult to like ask that question, unfortunately. With political power, a lot of the times, you know, if you tell someone, hey, man, if you lose political power, uh, you're dead. Like, how do you convince that person, you know, hey, please don't end the world, right? Like, you know, <laughs> you know like, well, you, if you're going to die, I mean, fuck it. The whole world might as well burn with me. 
Um, right, right. But, but I mean, see, that's why I'm I'm suspicious about why this. You know, I not nothing's happened yet. I'm amazed. I don't. Here's the thing. I don't think Vladimir Putin or Xi Jinping are like weird cartoon Saturday morning villains. I think they're just strong arm dictators that will do whatever they can to keep in power. And, you know, they have very different opinions on freedom and rights than I do. You know. So, you know, I don't really agree with them. Um, I see them as, you know, disliking my way of life, but I don't see them as a, mm, how to put this? I don't really see them as, um, I don't know, actively seeking out my ire, if that makes any sense. Shit, where was that shooting coming from? Yeah, I don't think they're seeking out the end of days! Ten bullets, nice. I don't really see Putin as a cartoon villain. I just don't, you know. I don't really like him. I do like his aesthetic, though, because he's kind of like a a Bond villain. And I think that's funny. <laughs> you know? Like, the idea is, like, who is the leader of Russia? I am, I am Vlad. I'm Vlad the Putinator. <laughs> you know, um... But, like, I, I think that's just funny. Ah, oh, crap, so we're doing that. All right, well. I'm Vlad, the Imputiner. <laughs> but, um, I, I don't know. I... It's also the fact, you know, having lived through communism and been, like, a corrupt cog in it, like, I feel like he might have some perspective, you know? You know, it's not like he wasn't alive during the days of brinksmanship and, you know, everyone playing chicken with nuclear weapons. You know, this isn't something completely new. I knew to him, man. Yeah. He was yeah, all, even on the Leningrad bandwagon of let's join NATO, and they refused him. They refused Lenin. They refused him as well. Him as well. Yep. Imagine what a world we might live in. The breadbasket bread of, of the, the planet, you know? Basically, yeah, be a lot safer place if we, uh, you know, got along a lot better. But then, you know, if if what I understand is true about all the human rights abuses, I guess that that would be a valid reason. Hey, whether I or mean, not it's the reason. well, okay, if you're gonna bellyache about, you know, Russia being our ally, because yeah, you know, they don't have. They're not good on freedom and rights and other th issues. But here's the thing. Saudi Arabia is like our closest ally in the Middle East, practically. So like, there are top no top three. Like there's so much abuse and nonsense that goes on in Saudi Arabia that like, come on, you can't you can't look at, you know, they're flogging people to, in the streets for wearing the wrong clothes. I mean, they're. <laughs> They jailed a woman, I think, 40 years for posting on Twitter something. And it's just like they're posting something on Twitter that was saying like, wow, this woman that said that the pum their treatment of women in my country is wrong. They gave her like four. So, no, they tried to give her eight years. And the judge was like, fuck that shit. This bitch is getting 44 years in prison. How dare you? Um... <laughs> You know, like, it's hard for me to get up in arms, 
you know, about, oh, no, human rights abuses, you know, and it's like, well, what about these guys? These guys are way worse. Like, no, it's true. There's no excuse, then. There's no excuse. That's a tube, eh? Oh, it's a single. So, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, are, are Russia the good guys in this story? No, they're not. You know, there are a lot of people that are convinced of that. They're like, oh, Russia is going to be the avatar of the new the new order and smash the global homo. You know, and it's like, no, that's, that's really not what's going to happen. I guarantee that. Um, uh, by the way, this picture that you put in your Discord, what, what movie is this from? The, the uh, dictator that's talking with. Uh, I have no idea what that movie's from. It might be a, a might be a 1984. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, though. Okay, I and I'm not aware. I know 1984 very well. I don't know who it is. At first, I was like, "Isn't that General Hux from Star Wars?" No, what is that from? Oh, yeah, wait, I was trying to. No, I mean, the background, I was like, that's Hux, right? He's in front of the first order thing. But now I'm like, no, that's not Hux. Could it be? No, could not. No, it's not. It's, the actor's much younger. If someone in chat knows, some, you know, in, if someone in chat is in Discord and, and goes to Discord and sees them, I'll have to look it up through, you. what is it called? Yon, Yon, uh, there's a website that lets you. Was oh, it like a reverse oh. image search? Yeah. I'm gonna mm, very cool. Just a moment here. Poor guy got shot near the extract. But he didn't have a backpack! <laughs> if he had a backpack, I'd probably go back and explore some more shit. Yandex. Yandex. That's just a search. Oh, Yandex. shit. It's just a search engine. Yo, yo, chill, man, chill. This guy better not push me. I know Google has an image search, too, but... Did I get out? Raid ended. Early extraction. Oh, what? what, what was that the guy killed me with like 0.1 seconds to get out. Typical? Apparently. I didn't have that much good shit. I did want that mag that I had. How did you find this 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 image that you posted? <laughs> oh, it was um, it was somewhere else. I can't remember where though. I know it's where to look. The nice thing is, he won't be able to loot my body without getting out of the map. I think it was... Was it a Zero Hedge article? Yeah, that's where I found it. What is a Zero Hedge article? Excuse my ignorance. Uh, it's a news website. Apparently Poland's demanding a 1.3 trillion dollars in reparations and honestly that's way too little. <laughs> well, Poland is reparations for what? Well, the German occupation of uh Poland, you know, when they invaded them oh. in World War II. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about that.
Oh boy, wildfires near LA. I always love when everything's on fire out here. <laughs> end times, huh? It's not end times. It's just how California <laughs> always <laughs> operates. <laughs> Believe me, I wish I, I wish it was. Ah, oh, don't worry, it's just the end times. That would be a lot more comforting than, oh, it's the seasonal fires. The seasonal wildfires, because they don't have proper forest management. Um, I read somewhere not long ago that uh, there's a pyromaniac, pyromaniac. that uh, they have trouble imprisoning because they never have enough evidence. But they know for certain that he is responsible for a number of these wildfires in California. And that they've put him in put prison. prison. They've put him behind bars once or twice for a few weeks or months, and then he always gets out. And but they know for certain. Yeah, I can find. I need to find this article for you. I, I love that. They they know for certain, but we can't yes, prove yes. it. I mean, like that's that's concerning to me. I'm certain, but I can't prove you did it. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's but true. that's what our system is like, right? But I mean, just in, like in the ideal, in the ideal. right? Is <laughs> that you're you're an innocent until proven guilty, and how are you going to prove that this guy is setting fires? You know, but he does. You know. But like, how do they know? They just have like photos of him doing it. Uh, I need to look at fire. Responsible for. It was like a Dateline episode or something. Wait, does he admit it? Like, is he going around like, yeah, fuck you, I did it. No, I'd, the suspect... Forrest Gordon Clark is being held on one million dollar bill. I'm looking. I'm looking for the, for the. I'm looking for the article. Hold on. This uh, New yeah, York New Times York article Times. says, in California, almost 95% yeah. <laughs> of fires are started by people, and about 7% of those are caused by arson. <coughs> the rest are mostly fires started by lightning. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, like, they're not saying most are intentional. They're saying 7% are intentional. Most people leave it on the stove and shit, right? Oh. I'll post this, uh, but the New York Times may hassle you about not having a subscription. Oh, They're not getting a subscription, are they? I don't even know who the fuck shot me there. What the hell? Okay, well, here's one that... Here's an arsonist suspected for 23 fires in Washington. Alleged California arsonist could have set two fires in two days. Hey, That's efficient. Talk about... Being dedicated to the cause, I guess, here I'm, I'm putting... Yeah. This, uh, when you're, when you need to, when you need to cause a fire, you know who to call. No, I don't.
our rats. Ugh, I need more double A batteries to Where are my double A batteries? Bullets for this. Let's make sure I load the correct bullets in this thing. <laughs> Sometimes you just pick the wrong bullets by accident. That doesn't sound right. How can you put the wrong bullet in there? Well, if it fits the chamber, but it's the wrong, it's not fireable. Is that, yeah. does that happen in real life? Yes, definitely. And your gun jams or worse. Yeah, we actually had a lot of fires started by homeless people. Someone pointed a gun at the Argentina vice president's head. Why? Really? Really? Pointed a gun. Well, why didn't he shoot them? Like, what the hell?
Oh, that's funny. There was a heckler at Brandon's speech. <laughs> what did he say? What is it saying? Uh, he was saying, F you. <laughs> I have to protect democracy by calling you terrorists. Why are you saying F me? All I did was call you terrorists. Who does that, man? Come on, man. Imagine that, though, Box. Someone having the gall to call the dear leader, the dear leader, an asshole in a speech where he called them a monster for existing. Ugh. What world? Oh, what world to have such ignorant people undermine all of our society? How will we ever recover from this? If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I just don't understand. They just don't want to be part of our final solution for them. I mean, sorry, end solution, terminal solution. Yeah, we need to cure the problem. Yeah, that's, uh... There's a saying about history. It's that history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. You ever heard that one? History does not repeat, but it rhymes? Yeah. Basically, like, similar patterns and things constantly play out over history. You know, it's not going to be identical how it goes, but, you know, the path to it is very similar. That's kind of the point. Thus, rhyming, you know, similar but different words. Shit, industrial zone gates isn't a location to go to. Shit. It's a broken LCD in a drawer. Oh, hard disk drive. I need that. Oh! Oh, that guy took a pot shot at me from that.
Whoa. The fuck is shooting at me? Is he on the other roof? Maybe. He got there way too quick. Minute 19 to scaven. All right, well. Did get that hard drive, though. you don't believe that China will invade Taiwan and maybe you believe everything will be okay what do you what do you think will be happening soon do I think everything will be okay absolutely not no definitely not everything will be okay but uh, the end times will be far more sinister than you expect I'll say that You know, it's not going to be, it's not going to go the way you think it will. I'll say that. You think it'll happen in our lifetime? What? The end of days? Yeah. Good. Like what's going to happen then? Are the economy's going to get better where everything's going to go back to normal? Hey, yeah, but what let me go out to normal. The next two years, three years. Next two or three years? I don't have a magic eight ball. Yeah, I know, but mm -hmm. what is your opinion? What do you think? Hmm. Somewhat slow, but stable decline. I don't know. It was an old saying, um, someone, it was about how they lost all their money. And the way they said they lost it, Box, was suddenly and then all at once. I mean, it may, it may happen, it may not. I mean, we can fret about it all day, but does it change anything?
What is this piece? Oh, I already have a flashlight. Ergonomics, good. That's an eight. That was better. Oh, that's the bolt. Ah. So, did the big Dota patch come out, Box? No, I didn't oh, see I it come out. No, what I, I heard. saw was, I saw the, was um, the, um, what is that first person shooter that you play a lot? Famous one. Apex Legends? Apex Legends had its massive update. Yeah, that was about a month or two ago. Was it that long ago? Goodness. Yeah, it was the new season. Can they just released their battle pass. What did you think of the new season? That's good. I like the new character. I like some of the weapon changes they did. Are things accessible if you don't pay? Yeah, I would say so. Just take time to unlock other characters, but yeah, they're accessible. No, I did not see Dota... Any they released. Uh, they just released their battle pass the other day. Oh, okay. You were just. I thought you were talking about Apex Legends. No, I was talking about Dota. And is it any interesting? Is it interesting? Do you know? Uh, well, here's what I found interesting. There are rumors that Puppet Master will be in the game. Goodness, that would be a direct copy from Heroes of New Earth, huh? Well, Heroes of New Earth is defunct. I guess they can, right? Because, well, in no sense, the rights were bought out by a smaller company, but... No, that's interesting. So they'll have a puppeteer. That Possibly. If, if, that's the rumor, and that's why I'm like, oh, I'd play that. That'd be interesting, you know. I don't remember what that character used to do. What, uh, what did he used to do? To he, had a, he, he had an ability where he put a string on them, and if they went too far, they got dragged back to it and slowed. Oh, uh, he, had, yeah. he, he had an ability where he makes you attack the closest target, and you can do non-fatal damage. He had a really cool that passive already, where... He, uh -huh. he had a that really cool passive where he did a... He, already, he did a really cool passive where he does like a splash attack uh, every fi every like five oh, uh, throws. Yeah. And then yeah, his ult yeah. was he makes the voodoo puppet. What does the voodoo puppet do? Oh, that's right. You do extra damage to someone who's dead. Yeah, it does, it's like a damage amp. Yeah. The ca the champion Yalawi in League of Legends does that ulti. Uh, ah. The champion Sivir does the AoE damage. Uh... The champion, the recent recent champion, champion just, that just came out, uh, does that attack your nearest ally thing? Uh, let's see, sure. Renata Glask here in League. Yeah. <laughs> I see. League of Legends has made some amazing strides in these last few patches. They've really improved the game quite a bit. Really? I believe, yeah. Absolutely. Uh... Well, that's good. Made your game better. Except that in, in LAS, LAS, Latin America South, the players are horrible, horrible. So it's, 
it is more painful than usual to play league down here. It's not like in the U.S. at all. Hmm. The quality of gameplay is very different. You know, not the, not very good at all. I see. I guess you could say that in the U.S. you work harder and play even harder. <laughs> Down here, everybody's really rather lax. You know. Everyone chills. So is Puppet Master supposed to come out soon with the patch, with that new patch, or allegedly? Oh, there, there, there's like lots of rumors. Like it's not just him, but like a bunch of other heroes. I see. What they're gonna release they're more than one hero at a time? They talk about like five. That doesn't sound right to me, right? It doesn't, but we'll see. We I mean, shall for, see. For, when Dota releases a champion, they make a big deal out of it, right? You know? Normally. But the, the rumor on the rumor mill is that they're planning this big patch called The Great Confluence or something, where they'll bring in not just Puppet Master, but Engineer from uh, Heroes of New Earth. And then The Great Confluence can happen over a time period, right? And they'll release maybe the champions over a slew of... Well, the reason for this is allegedly they found them in, like, some of the test code for the game, like the pre-beta stuff. Like, all the skill descriptions for them. Which could be a couple things. For one, it could just be the devs like those characters and they play, like, dev games with them. <laughs> but... Oh my gosh, did I break my fucking leg? Are you kidding me? Oh, I fractured it. I didn't fall that far! Come on, game! I did have not you, fall that far. Have you reached the pinnacle of Genshin, Genshin Impact? Impact? Do you still play Genshin? I do. I just usually do it during my lunch break. So I do my daily quests at like a similar time. Genshin was quite a success. Yeah, I would say it was. I need to find painkillers. I most definitely need to go find painkillers. Let me go check something. I really fractured my frickin' leg. What I need is a splint. Or some painkillers. That would do it too. Ah! Mogul am 
mano! <laughs> hey, you wouldn't have it have a splint, would you? Ah, oh, we're the triassian. Pardon me. Would you have any grape upon? I'm so slow. Was he slow? Yes. But I'd trouble you for a splint, fellow scaver. Maybe there's something inside. А вот тут друган мой бывал точно. Do you either of you guys have a splint? Did they tell you to go fish? I don't know if they heard me, but I asked. I might be able to walk all the way through that base, or it might heal by then. What if you stand still? Does the game give you more healing if you stand still? It's not really like, I don't know, it might. That might be something you need to look up in a wiki before you do it, though. Yeah, that's kind of what I figure. Because no matter what I do, I've got 20 minutes to get out of here, so I've got to get to the exit. And I think I can limp to it in that time, but that would involve not being found. Yo, what's up, FSBS? I'm actually just about to sign off for the night. Um... And unfortunately, that game I was in last, the server aborted, so I lost all of our shit. Oh, and this? I, I made the mistake of jumping uh, a little too far down, and I broke my fucking leg. So, consequences. But it's a scav run, so I might find a splint. Probably. We'll get it back. Yeah. I was very sad, because that was a lot of good gear, and I was just like, oh, shit. But this is my last one of the night. Um, oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Did they not kill the rogues? Oh, no. Wait. Is that a scav? Bill six? Maybe it was. Unlucko, Dallas sucks then. I mean, Dallas is not super far from me. I mean, it's a couple states over. That was a, well, yeah, no, that was a player. That was definitely a player. Man, I, I was playing, uh, I was playing earlier and I got two different rogues with a, with a Glock. But there were three of them in a group, and I just, uh, don't know what to do about that. Let's see, let's group this all together. Third guy got me, but I'm getting better. Uh... 
All right. Inventory is much cleaner. Are the both scav boxes full? No, not yet. The other one is, though. Am I 15 yet? No, unfortunately not. My runs have been less than fruitful tonight. And I also haven't been, like, knocking out quests. Because I gotta do that stupid quest on Factory where you repair shit, and that one just sucks. Can I put this in there? No, it's water. You're not home for the day. You'll play probably Saturday again. I might be on Saturday late. Saturday late probably works for me. So I'll be playing Zomboid and then probably I'll play some Tarkov. Aviators. Four or five in the afternoon for me. I won't be on that early, but I might be on later. Even Ghost has to sleep sometime. No, oh, and I still have room in here, too. Ugh, an unexpected broken leg brought me low. Alright, where do I get a set of awls from? Can I just buy one from Fence? Fire steel. Jeez, 104k for an SSD drive. Uh. At least I'm almost all the- I, I gotta get in my scav thing much quicker than this, but... It will be nice. Born to stay, bolt action rifle. Uh, maybe. Eh. It is expensive. Let's see. Find and transfer. Handover, a raid, or crafted item, MP5K. Shit. See. Neither can be crafted. Oh, I have to craft it from the hideout anyway. But I don't think I can do that with level one workbench. Unless. No. That's a PP9. Uh. 
All right. Got that, got that, got that. Good, 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 good. So you make a bomb out of that, eh? Can't make alls yet. Wow, water, that's an expensive water to make. But I still need more matches. Consumption reduced by 1.5. Wait a minute, does this mean 12 hours per unit of fuel? Huh. If this is some disaster in Russia, does that make you Russian? No, you could be a foreign mercenary. Is there a campaign? Mm, not really. Like a PvE campaign? There isn't, right? There it is not. Everybody's <laughs> human, right? There's no sci-fi fantasy. Oh, there are cultists somewhere. So I've heard. Cultists. I don't know what the cultists worship, but there are cultists. Can't do that, can't do that. You need me to find gas analyzers. I don't really know where the hell I'm gonna find those. You know what, we'll do one last one for the night because that was disappoint. that was a disappointing last one. We'll go to interchange. In the morning. Yeah. Yo, Pixel World Network, sir. How are you? What's up, Pixel? The new Assassin's Creed games called Assassin's Creed Mirage. How you doing, Pixel? Ghost will end the stream when he gets killed by someone. Well, no, I mean, either killed or if I somehow extract. Okay, well. At railway. The brutal shop is there. Sounds safe. Na, na, na. 
I'm glad that you enjoyed the Hobbit box. Yeah, no, um... Sorry, you couldn't join us at the beginning. Yeah, I, I made it as soon as I could. <laughs> but those are, those are some great dragon fight scenes they have. Yep. I don't think... Did they make the gold statue in the theatrical cut? Because I know there was a lot of Thorin getting chased by the dragon that didn't make it into the final theatrical release. No, I remember the gold statue from the movie theater. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, matches and coffee. One down. Got a duffel bag. A duffel bag and a shotgun. He never got to shoot at me. I'll take your hat, too. Ninety percent of fights in this game box are just getting the jump on the other guy. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I can way. see that. No, I can. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, uh, you who shoots if, first will win a fight. If if the game had more HP, what would the effect be? Well, more armor. And there is armor. A little more drawn out, so that. Give There's armor, but I mean, two shots to the head, you did. Do you like it that way? Yeah, it's realistic enough, and you know, you know, a lot of times you, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You know, it's just kind of the way the game works. A lot of the game is just learning knowledge. You know, like about where to go, where loot spots are. Where, you know, where people spawn, so like the tactics of how to approach a location where you know there's an active spawn stuff. Right. Ooh, gold egg, hell yeah. What does that do? I can sell it. It is much expensive. And I have it in my secure case. Like, ah, uh, there's an Ikea, but it's called Idea in this. The old, you know, like, Whack Donald's, or... go-kart course. Well, I'm going to take a look at the... Uh... This Lord of the Rings thing. Let's see how how bad it can be, I suppose. Have to check it out. 
worst we can imagine. But I've heard. But we shall see. Who knows? Maybe it won't completely suck. Are you watching, Are you watching? um... What is it called? Uh, House of the Dragon? I have not watched the pilot yet. But I probably will. I think the second episode dropped already. Probably well, find some time to watch it. Holy shit, are you kidding me? You watching any animes? Yeah. Oh, plenty. I don't have a sec to list any. Right. Go check this guy. I just kill. This is like a shopping mall, huh? Oh yeah. What does the blue oh, board the say? Blue board <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, you might die looking at it, but. The answer is I don't know. Is that a better armor? That tactical vest? No, it's not. I didn't really have any gear. Was that a human being? I think that was an AI. But it's not for certain? Hmm. Not for certain. They might have just been bad. He also didn't have any good weapons, honestly. So the AI, the AI and, the and the players have the same skins, sometimes? Yes. Huh. I can unjam this. Unload this one by one. Oh! Jeez! What was that? I tried to jump me. There you go. You got him. You know what? I've killed three people. I'm out. So just to, so I understand, if you don't make it out, then what good has all your effort been? You level up. You learn new skills. Level up. Okay. And if you make it, you out, make it out, then you can keep the items for a while. Yes. Just for a while. Till you die. And like in most role-playing games, your items are half your stats, maybe. Oh, they're more than half. More than hey, man. Scav camp, power station, and pull. Fuck. I gotta go all the way back. Enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy the nice day. You feel that cool breeze, sun is shining. My freaking other gun jammed in the middle of a fight. Pissed me off. It was a piece of shit, but still, didn't have to jam on me there. Do you remember the jammed from meatballs? I don't. The radar, it's jammed. I'll get you. Oh, the wait a minute. I'll get you the gif. No, I know what you mean. There's actually jam in the radar. Yeah, I've seen meatballs. That's right. Um, so what happened was I had a clip with the wrong type of ammo in it. So that as soon as I fired around, the gun jammed immediately. Yeah, you were talking, you were talking about it earlier, right? Yeah. I was talking about it, and I freaking did it. 
You talked about it before it happened? I have, yeah. Put the gif in, in the chat. <laughs> Man, it's lame. I didn't even get to go anywhere in the mall. I was just literally home, ganked three people at the front of the mall. Let's see here. Shotgun served me well. The nice thing about this level is all the juicy loot is in the mall, and all the scavs spawn around and near the mall. So, once the outer PMCs have all spawned, which they do at the beginning, it's generally a lot safer on the outer perimeter until people want to get out. This uh, image of the dictator that looks like the Biden talk is from <laughs> V for Vendetta. Uh, that's why I didn't recognize it. I've never seen that movie. 2005. Ah. Animes am I watching currently? Um... I'm gonna catch up on Shield Hero. Got to go. I did finish watching Spy X Family, but that was last season. Was that good? Yes. Yeah, I would say it's good. Yeah. It's wholesome and fun. Are you, are you watching Don't Kill My Healer? I'll probably check it out. Uh, I'm watching um, Uncle from Another World as well. That's kind of been funny. New? Oh yeah, it's new. One of those Netflix ones, but I think it's like an old four-panel gag manga. So it's Guys, an Americanized it's, anime? No, no. It's made by Netflix's studio. Basically, the plot is that this guy's uncle was isekai to another world for 18 years, and he just returned home. And the whole thing was, he was in that other world, he had developed super magical powers, but everyone thought he was ugly, so they thought he was like a monster, so they all treated him like shit this whole time there. But back in the real world, he can still do magic and shit, so like, they're figuring out different ways to like, make money off his like, magic, because he like, legit does magic. Hmm. What does it mean to be isekai Uh, transport to another world. Which is a trope, right? Like, oh yeah, a very common, common trope. trope. Yeah. You're almost there. there. Don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so Thanks. quiet. Why is there no Thanks. sound? All it takes is one asshole with a scope. Fuck my day. That incredibly large idea. I mean, IKEA building. Yep. I think my exit's over here, too. Are the exits in this game spawn points as well? Uh, depends. Whichever side, like, one... Some of them are open, some of them aren't. Gosh, I've got a lot of... Oh, I really should have gone the other way, is what this comes down to. But... Mainly because I could kind of take a much more covered route along the right. It's kind of very exposed. But 
at this stage of the game, most people are still looting inside. <laughs> Fucking A! I I didn't see what happened. Someone shot at me, that's what happened. You didn't take any damage? They're shooting at me, but they haven't hit me yet. With you going prone, so so prone, I don't think they can even see you anymore. Huh? Can you, does the game allow for you to kind of figure how far the enemy is from you by the sound of the... Kind of, but I haven't memorized how that works yet. There's a, there's a certain distance at which you can fire, right? And have a, a bullet... You got a bullet on. drop... Now, where is it that you spawned from? I usually spawn at the edge of the map. And you're headed you're back, there back there so that you can leave? Well, I spawned at a different edge. You almost never spawn, like, right at uh, exit. Mm -hmm. But once you reach that, you're home free. And that's what you're... Well, no. Seconds. I have to wait seven seconds. Seven seconds? I think you can make it. Wow. Well. My problem is I have no idea where that guy went. But I get down this gap. How much further? Well, right over this fence. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you made it. Yep, the guy did not want to push me, so I was able to kind of just, once I had, like, a little bit of head cover, I was able to get out. Alright, I killed three scabs. <laughs> Vidya, Valya, and Yaroslav. How many V's these guys put in their names? Jeez. <laughs> but these are all obviously NPCs, because otherwise the name would well, be... Well, no, no, they might have been play. Some of them were players. Um, because when you play as a scav, you get a random named character. Yeah. All right. That's a good one to go out on. <laughs> Successfully escaped as my PMC on a map I don't usually do too well on. Got myself a gold egg I can go ch go sell. Improve your hideout, probably. I don't think I can prove my hideout right now. But, let me go see what my attack. What do you think of the new Trovo interface? Eh, it's alright. <laughs> Tis alright. Shootout picnic. I'm gonna kill 15 scabs on woods. Jeez. And I also gotta kill them without body armor or a helmet. Which I could probably do more easily. Oh, these are kind of quests, huh? Yep, the, the game quest. gives you quests, and really the quests, what they are, is they help you level faster. I see. Wait, hold on, I unload. I saw some rewards there too, didn't I? Let me see what ammo is there. This is 9 by 19 That was 9 by 19 it was the right ammo, it just fucking jammed on me. Why did it jam on me in the middle of a firefight? I think these guns are made of paper, basically. <laughs> Well, right. I'm glad you made it out, yeah. and now yeah. I can go.
go to sleep knowing that my friend Ghost survived. I did. Thank you, Box. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like it's like playing League of Legends <laughs> until you win a match and then you feel fine. Then you can sleep. But if you can't win the match. Yeah. Then... I did good with that shotgun. I was very happy. Because that, that guy that went to the elevator, I was just like, oh, hello. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. <laughs> You're probably wondering. Nope. Bang. <laughs> I mean, he came into he close, close, like, like you, know, you know, he could have thrown a grenade at you or something, right? I mean, he might have. I think what happened was he thought I might have been a scav. And he was like, oh, okay, I don't need to shoot you. And then I was like, an surprise! <laughs> it's like the one, well, big, it's the one big advantage that you have as a PMC is sometimes scabs are hesitant to immediately shoot someone because they don't want to ruin their reputation. Me, myself, I'm still learning, like, who the fuck is Scav, who the fuck is not Scav? What does Scav stand for? Is that so, a faction? Yeah, well, it's not a faction, technically. It's a, um... How to put this? It's like... They're like neutrals, kind of. They're not part of either faction, but they're kind of all teamed up with each other. And there are penalties for them shooting each other. So they really don't want to shoot each other. You, still, you have yet to find a scab that won't shoot you as a scab either. <laughs> oh no, I mean, I've met plenty of scabs. I've met plenty of scabs that are just cool, you know. It happened yeah. today, though, right? You talked to uh, yeah, no, I've, I've, I mean, I've been killed by other scabs. Yeah. So there's both. We're getting there. All right, Box, you have yourself a wonderful night. I got to get to sleep so that I can get to work, too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, right. I have tomorrow off, but I'll go to sleep as well. Nice to see you, yeah. and uh, I'll try to tune in tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Good night. Bye-bye. All right, folks, that's all for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It was a fun night of shooty shooty. So, I'm going to give you all some wise words, and I am going to get out of here. Good kids should go to sleep now. Good night, motherfucker!